Hello everybody! Running very slightly late today due to another commitment that I had, but I'm just getting things all ready to go now. So bear with me here for a minute or so, and we will be all ready to rock. I don't think there's anybody tuned in right away anyway, so it gives me a minute to get myself together. Bear with me, just lighting up Discord with announcements and self-promo channel, channel posts. Nice. There we go. Stream elements. I definitely appreciate stream elements. Really cool feature. What is going on in the small creators community one? Oh, giveaways. Nature Classics, Spotlight, Spotlight giveaway. Okay. Okay, that'd be cool. All right, I think I'm all good to go here. I'm all nice and announced up. So today, going to be resuming my journey in Soul of Origins. Last time on Soul of Origins Z. Traveled to the end, the Outer End Islands. We, through the course of the last couple of streams, realized that the Eyes of Ender were still working in the end, and they were going to a specific direction. The hunch of, is there a stronghold in the end, was further cemented by finding a map that leads to the end stronghold, which also, you know, made more mystery. Spent a lot of time journeying across the end. Great big massive journey. I'm going to show... I'm going to show you folks exactly what that's all about in a bit. I'm going to look at my in-game map and show you what is going on with that. We've really gone way across the, the end. And I um, think I'm getting really close. But I've also been hitting targets of opportunity along the way. You know, uh, various uh, sunken ships. Basically, there's a mod pack on here that repurposes a lot of the standard structures for different areas. So it gives us things like temples in the nether, temples in the end, sunken ships in the nether as well. That they're built out of the same stuff that the end ships that you see in end cities are. But they're embedded in the ground, much like you would find in the overworld, a shipwreck in the ocean. And they have the same treasure chest placement, just way better treasure in them. So I've been hitting those up along the way, getting richer and richer as I go, getting nice and stacked as well. And uh, actually, we left things up as I was bearing down on a temple in the end. So one of those desert temples, but end. So that's what I'm going to be doing now is uh, basically if I didn't last stream, I can't remember right now if I did or not. But I'll be disarming the temple, or confirming that I didn't, that I did already disarm it. Hey, Leo, good to see you as usual. Good luck on those errands. I'll see you later on as well. I appreciate you. So I'm just going to be diving right into this now. So yeah, as you can see, this is very much like a desert temple. It's just uh, a desert temple with an end accent. Oh, sounds like I am getting a nice fresh follow. Not a thingy bug. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate you. Hope you enjoy the stream. Now, let me just take a quick look. The amount of purple concrete in my inventory tells me that I've probably already gone down there and disarmed the TNT. I'm going to double check that, though, because I've already been exploded. Yeah, I got it all. Um, the, This middle chest in this style of temple detonates everything and it's way more tnt down there than in the standard des desert temple look i got 25 tnt out of that thing also i look kind of like i'm in uh, carnival uh minus the apples on my face because i have a face slot and for some reason i can store apples there i don't quite understand why i can store apples specifically there i know it's obviously for their cosmetics but it makes things handy since you can make all kinds of different apples. You can make iron apples. You can make lapis apples. Actually, I'm going to make a lapis apple before I open these chests because it gives you the luck effect. And you better believe if I'm about to open five chests that I haven't looked in. And it's just showing me what I've seen in previous chests here right now. So you can ignore that coming up. I am going to want that luck boost. So let me just... Uh, Try to remember. My muscle memory is all mixed up because I've been playing on the Andres SMP. So I almost just typed slash vault, which I don't actually have a player vault on here. I have backpacks, though, sort of fill the same function. 
There we go, Lapis. I'll offload that while I'm here. And uh, let's take an apple out of my face. Uh, crafting table. Where's my crafting table? Well, I don't have a crafting table on me. I probably left it up above. But, yeah, let's do this. One apple. One ring of lapis. Gives me a lapis apple. Or a lapple, if you will. And, uh, yeah, I will eat that momentarily. I'm just making sure... Actually, I can clear inventory space after... It's just looting them first. There we go. Got my luck applied to all of those. So let's take a little time and pick through these treasures. There's probably all kinds of stuff I want out of here. Emeralds. I have so many ender pearls. I don't know what to do with them. I don't need the carpet, obviously. Uh, I'll take the eyes. I'll always take the eyes. I'll take the bottle of enchanting. I'll smash that on the ground shortly. Unbreaking 3, Fuse Shot 3. I don't know what that's all about, so I'm taking it. I mean, I know what Unbreaking 3 is, obviously. I just don't know what Fuse Shot is. So that is one that has been sorted. I almost went to type. Yeah, my muscle memory from the Andres SMP is really getting me here. All right. I will toss that all up in there, that all up in there. Uh, I will go to my other backpack. I have so many Ender Pearls. I have so many Eyes of Ender. Hey, Pennell, good to see you again. We're just starting to loot this uh, temple that I found last time. I'll keep that out. I'll toss those up in there. I'm going to use this to pillar out of here. So just a little bit of inventory management while I work my way through this temple. Do that like that. Do that like that. Perfect. All right, so I've looted this one. Got all the stuff I want out of this one. What is this? So I already have an interesting blade. I've got the Swift Striker, which um, Sharpness 4, Ambush 1, Echo 1. Don't know what that all half of those are, but I've just picked up an Eternal Knife, which also has decent stats. Uh, I'm going to take that with me. Uncraftable Potion. I feel like that might be a little bit of an error. I know that sometimes you can get those in the loot table and you're not supposed to. I don't think it does anything. Probably shouldn't drink random things that I don't know what they are. I'm definitely taking the Eternal Knife. That is cool looking. It's not as strong as my Swift Striker, which apparently there's no spot. Yeah, there we go. See? 11.5 attack damage, 3 speed, 3.1. So this is slightly faster. Very slightly faster. And I don't know what Soul Siphon is. I wonder if I can stick these two together or if they're too different. Maybe they're both classed as Knife. I don't know. But yeah, so there's that. I have taken that. Let's see what's in this guy. Black Banner. Uh, I'm going to take that and try something. Quick Charge Respiration. You can always grind the EXP off of it. I'll take more Eyes of Ender. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of them. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. It's not this one. It. Wow. Sorry. This is going to be tripping out my muscle memory. Wait. Do... Am I putting my Obsidian in the other backpack? Yeah, I'm putting it in this one. All right. Perfect. Uh, but this guy can go here. Uh, oh wait, I don't want to put that on my shield. I was going to put the banner on my shield, because I think that's a thing you can do. But that doesn't match up with that. This is a already a better shield than the standard one. I've already grabbed it, though. I'll take this with me. So that one's all looted. Then we've got Poison Focus 2. Don't know what... Actually, none of these are that great, but I can grind them for EXP. Keeping an eye out for that, because there's a lot of new enchantments, and I feel like I'm going to spend a lot of EXP on the anvil. Jeez, I got eyes for days. I'm just going to tuck this in here right now. Uh, I'm going to slug back my EXP bottles, make some space, toss that in there. Obsidian. Uh, yeah, all right, so going into this guy, throw the obsidian. Do that like that. And all that remains now is this bad boy. Diamonds. Nice shot of diamonds. More emeralds. I don't know if those are in the loot table or if that's my armor making the emeralds happen. More obsidian. More eyes of ender. Mending. Ooh, mending respiration. Uh, that is 100% going on this helmet. I wonder if I can afford to put that on there now. Because this is a cool helmet. I, uh, yeah, I think that's worth the mending respiration. So yeah, nothing else I want out of that bad boy. Going to toss these goodies all up in there. Um, I think my anvil is here. Yeah, I'm going to 
If I can afford it, I'm going to do this right now. If I can't afford it, because there's already a lot of stuff on this one, I'm going to save up. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that is so... I don't need respiration, really, because I have unlimited underwater breath because I'm a siren. But mending, mending is always good. Mending means that I don't got to worry about this helmet. Actually, with that, why don't I put mending on uh, the... No, I have a lot of elytra. Ooh, mending on the boots. Mending on the boots. They're my featherfall boots. That is actually very relevant to me here. So I'm going to mend the boots. I don't need respiration. I, let's see. So yeah, just make sure I'm not losing anything because enchantments are a little more willy-nilly here. Let's put that... And it's even cheaper. Yeah. Now my, now my really good boots won't break on me. That is good. I'm going to save this for when I'm in the thing because... I am in the end, and there's so many ways to fall into the void. A fate I would much rather avoid. Keep my eyes on hand. I can't believe I've gone through that. All right, so yeah, I am actually just realized I've been using a shulker box for... Well, can't do that. I've been using a shulker box, though, for my en disenchanting goodies. So... You, you, you. I can grind that for EXP later. I'm going to need to make a better pickaxe at some point. Because uh, right now... Actually, what am I putting in that slot? I'll do, I'll do that. That's sort of my floating tool slot. All right. Where's the hole? Ah, there's the hole. Let's go back on out and see what this world is like. We'll see how badly my Andre's SMP muscle memory <laughs> treats me today. All right. So, yeah, we've disarmed this place. Those are, I think, the same banner as the one I grabbed. Oh, yeah, my ender chest. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I was getting real organized up in here. Oh, yeah, that's the one I want to put the banner on. Let me see. I still have that. Yeah, let's... I think I think it'll let me do... Yes! Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> Too bad this shield is straight up better, but at least that looks really cool now, and it's not quite the same banner, so I'm going to take one of these for later, just for flexing. There we go. All right. I do not have a lot of wood, so I really should take my, one of my workbenches. Should not have made a second one down there. I don't need that anymore. Actually, for now, until I go get more blocks, I am going to need that. Uh, where do I want to put the eye? Uh, yeah, I'll do this. I'll huck an eye, and then I'll switch them out. All right, let's figure out where the FI was going. I'm trying to remember. So, yeah, we've cut a huge, huge swath across this place. And that's not even getting into wherever the heck the center island is. It might not even be loading. What the heck is this, though? Might not even be loading right now. But I have gone a massive amount across the end in search of this, uh, this, end, this end stronghold. Which, I mean, normally in standard Minecraft, you throw, a, you throw an eye of ender in the end. It doesn't do anything. It just straight up won't even leave your hand. But in this case, it still does. And I'm going to show you in a moment. I just need a quick heal up. Being a siren, I am great in water. Not so great on land. And fire of any amount one-shots me. So um, I think I've got, yeah, I've got a fire, an extended fire res. Because I'm a cleric. And I can make potionier potions. All right, which way am I going? Which Oh, yeah, that way. Nice. Managed to whip around like that without looking at any Endermen, which is good because I also take increased melee damage, being, uh, I guess, thin-skinned, however that works with being a Siren and uh, not having a good time melee-wise. So let's get going here. I will need to bridge my way back up here. I said that was a problem for future Blake, and I am a man of my word. <laughs> Uh, right, yeah. There we go. That way, if I screw up, I have a few ways I could potentially get out of this alive. 
Really hoping I don't take a trip into the void. Uh, I will experiment at some point when I've got all my gear stowed safely and don't have any levels on me. Just to see what happens if I drop into the void. Because it does have a plug-in that drops a grave with all your stuff where you land. Wherever you died, rather. So, if this is going to be something like that, well, I mean, will it put the grave in the void where I died? Will it put it nearby? Will it put it back at the spawn platform? I do want to see how that works. But for now, I am just running on the assumption that in the void means all my stuff gone. And obviously, I don't want to lose all this stuff. I've got armor that I've put a lot into. I've got so much cool loot. I even got a god apple. I got some iron apples as well. Yeah, it probably puts it at Y. I'm, yeah, I'm thinking that's probably the case. At the X and Z, yeah. And I will definitely experiment with it at some point. Today, oh, well, we'll see how today goes. I might do it later in the stream. Ah, this way. Okay. Oh, no, it broke. Whatever will I do? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to find a short crossing. I think it's going to be around here. Grab some blocks. I didn't stash any blocks other than these, and I need these for emergency crafting. Uh, haven't stashed a lot of blocks. So yeah, I'll grab some blocks. But I have pretty good gear. I have this rose gold pickaxe. It's a gold pickaxe that I use the upgrading table, the smithing table, to apply copper ingot to it. Much like you would turn diamond into netherite. And it's made it at least at least comparable to iron, if not better. And then I have it enchanted to the nines. I am going to need to replace it with something diamond level at some point. Because I can't mine obsidian with this thing. And I've run into a few situations where I've needed to mine obsidian. I mean, I have lots of obsidian on me. But you never know when you're going to need to break one. And I'd rather one that does it at the speed of diamond. Than one that does it at the speed of iron. Even enchanted iron, it's a long haul to break obsidian. Alright. So I'm going to bridge my way across here. Yeah, I should be able to shorten that a bit by going on these guys. Yeah, oh, yeah, just like that. That's a little risky. That's a that's a little safer. There we go. I am so tense about this. <laughs> I always have a nice, healthy fear of the void when it comes to Minecraft stuff. Looks and looking like I'm gonna have to do a bit of bridging though. Glad I spotted that temple. They they have some good loot in those temples. All right, let's wipe the sweat off my hands here, <laughs> the nervous sweat off my hands here, and let's do a little bit of bridging. Hopefully, I have mined enough of. Oh wait, actually, I might as well play this smart. Uh, yeah, do that. Boom. Whoop. Where am I? Yeah, where am I clicking? Give myself as many blocks as I can for a bridge. I think I'm probably going to wind up throwing away that map to the place that I'm going because I have the eyes telling me that I'm going where I'm going. So earlier on, I think when I was streaming manhunts on Monday, my mouse battery died on me. So I'm hoping that my wireless keyboard is not soon to follow. That would be a real quick way to find out what happens to you in the end if you die in the void in this mod pack. Really liking everything this mod pack has to bring to the table, though. Soul of Origins, I have no complaints about the stuff it has added. I did the Better Minecraft mod pack for 1.16.5 as a stream uh, a couple months ago. And for the most part, it was good. There was some stuff they added that I felt was questionable, though. And some stuff they added that actually detracted from the experience. This one, though, 100% of the stuff they've added is good stuff. i loving what this mod pack has brought. All right, let's huck another one of these bad boys. Yeah, still going this way. Okay. It's probably going to go this way for a while yet. I think I'm going to bridge over to here rather than straight shot that whole thing because god damn that's long. It is long. So I'm going to get more blocks. Ah, oh, frick. I left my crafting table behind and I don't have the wood to make that not an issue. Alright, 
A right, little bit of a return trip. Where did I leave my bridge? That was a dumb move. I am real good at <laughs> leaving crafting tables behind. Uh, anytime I do a manhunt, too, you can follow me by the trail of crafting tables. Alright. Oh, yeah, there it is. So just don't be dumb. Don't die. Don't sneeze while you're doing this and jerk your mouse off to the side and yeet yourself into oblivion. Uh, where's my sweet axe? I gave that axe a fun Marvel Comics inspired name. And actually, that's right. I gotta switch my. Uh, give me a second. Video settings. Where is. I wanna make the GUI small. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Three. Apply. Done. Done. Cause. Even then, it fills the screen. Like, there's a lot of extra stuff on here. But this one sometimes strikes my enemies with lightning, and it's freaking sweet when it does it. All right, let's go onward. I'm wearing all my gear. Apples are in my face. Uh, I have my pearls and my elytra, so if I fall off, I've got a little bit of hover time where I can find a target for a pearl, as long as I don't completely panic and be dumb. Because, <laughs> uh, obviously, stressful situation. You're not always thinking on the ball. Yeah, here, here's a good enough crossing. Just grab some blocks along the way. Because I definitely need to craft more nether brick slabs. Oh, hey! Cool. Another one of these. Whereabouts is that on here? Ah, there it is. Great waypoint. Portal home. I think that's what I've been naming these. I haven't seen one in a while. Oh, raid this later. I, uh, return portal. Return portal is what I've been calling this bad boy. Edit waypoint. So I only beat the dragon once, of course, but these portals have been scattered all throughout, so I think they're an addition in the mod pack, because there's way more of them that I've come across than even if you did the max amount of dragon resurrections and spawned all those portals. And they're way, way deeper into the end than you would expect them to be as well. Grab a few more goodies here. This should be plenty to get me at least to the next stage of this. Yeah, I'll swing by that return portal. Pretty sure multiple go back to the same one. Yeah, I tried one off stream previously, and it took me back to the obsidian platform in the, the center island. So they did, it didn't even link to an exit portal on the other side. It put me right on the platform as if I'd gone through the portal in the stronghold. Vanilla multiple portals, even after killing one. Yeah, this is this is definitely more than what I've ever seen in vanilla. Like, it's a lot of portals. Like, you can see just the ones... And I only started labeling these part way through, but return portal, like, look, look, look. It's uh, exit portal, portal home, before I got a little more consistent in my naming. That's just on this path. All right, let's continue here. Let's not forget my workbench. My crafting table. My, I can't remember the name for things, so I call it something different. That is looking real good. Yeah, that is probably my safest bet. I mean, I, I am being way overcautious, all things considered. Because I haven't gone into the portal, and I've done, I haven't gone into the void, and I've done a lot of bridging. But I also haven't gotten this far by being reckless. Which is the thing I also say a lot when I'm doing a hardcore run. Which, uh, I was going to do my hardcore world on Friday. We'll see what kind of cliffhanger I'm left on here, though, to determine if I'm doing Andre's SMP on Friday or if I'm doing more Soul of Origins. Because I've definitely gotten hooked on the Andre's SMP. There's a lot of cool stuff. I am geared out. I've been working on building a sweet base. Working on building a working vault as well. So I'm going to learn a little redstone. I'm just going to learn redstone altogether. I don't really know a lot of redstone right now. Found it. Interesting. Oh, wait, wait. Am I seeing it already? Uh, am I seeing it and not... Pro oh, exit gateway also generate. Ah, right. Nice. Okay, so it... Interesting. That is good to know. So then it is vanilla. 
I guess I've just been got, getting luckier with finding them. And, uh, of course, I've been a lot less confident about going into the end and getting real far away from my return anyway. Because, you know, vanilla Minecraft's a little less forgiving in that regard. Whereas, worst case scenario, I could click somewhere on the map and click teleport here. It's It only works when cheats are enabled, which I leave on for debugging purposes. So I don't like using it because it is cheating. But it is a feature of the map plugin, the map mod that's part of this mod pack. All right. So it looks like I'm doing a little bridging here. Uh, there is an end ship back there. I've raided enough of those that I could build a dragon wither. And I've got... Uh, I've got a Lytra's Despair, so I'm not really prioritizing those right now. I want to, for the most part, beeline it for this, uh, this stronghold so that I don't wind up hanging on yet another stream of, will we find the stronghold? Tune in next time. Like, I want to show people the stronghold today. I wanted to show them it last, last stream of this because that was already two streams into this journey. It's a lot further away than the overworld stronghold which makes sense because i mean it's the end a lot of stuff is kind of amplified here but uh, this has been cool aside from the absolute tension of bridging over the the void and just seeing nothing but voidy doom down there it's been pretty cool i've been enjoying this mod pack a lot i can't wait to get out explore the overworld more to see what kind of structures i can come across explore the nether because there's all kinds of new structures in the nether as well and uh, just in general have a good time i might not have enough slabs for this i don't th oh i do okay lucky i'm gonna need to get more uh before i yeah before i keep going did i abandon my crafting table I don't have enough wood left to deal with that if I run it. Actually, I'm going to double-check my backpack. I might have left some logs in my backpack. Which sounds messier than it really is. We'll see here. I want it to connect. If I have to make this return journey, I want to make this return journey as smooth as possible. That's why I've been leaving bridges and not just purling across a lot of gaps. Even though I have an absolute surplus of pearls. Uh, okay, I do have dark oak logs. Okay, so I'm not effed if I happen to abandon a portal or three. A portal. A crafting table. Oh, hey, another one. Is it still going this way? It's been a bit since it turned. Where did... Ah, there it is. It's been a... Really, if you look, it's been a hot minute since it turned. But uh, I think I'm probably getting close. Hoping I don't have to dig down because uh, that's kind of terrifying where I am. Let's see. Uh, where's the thing? Where's the thing? Okay, if I'm looking right at it. Uh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, can't type today. All right, that keeps me on track here. I'll go down along this way. That way I don't get a bridge across many gaps until I'm closer. This is a really cool mod pack. I'd love to do a manhunt in this sometime. Like, could you imagine we each pick our own origin and our own class, and then we go off into a world that's a little more than what we remember from vanilla Minecraft? I'd need to have a few of my regulars for that, because obviously I can't get this one to work on the Manhunt Network. They they have their own thing, but I have my own server that I use. Yeah, don't find it until you get back. I will try my best. Maybe I'll spot it out of the corner of my eye and turn around and wander aimlessly. Maybe I'll raid that end ship. There's some good stuff in those fallen ships. Like, everything's a little bit more. So when you get the one with all the iron and stuff in it, it's a higher chance of diamonds, higher chance of more materials. It's pretty cool. I like that they do that. I like that the routing is the same as in the overworld shipwrecks as well. Yeah, that's a good... Oh, I actually don't have to bridge at all. Right, right, right. Whoop. I gotta be careful not to double jump and uh, accidentally yeet myself into oblivion. 
Because um, that's definitely something I would do. <laughs> I love this axe so much. I've been trying to baby it and keep it keep it going. I need to get mending on this thing. I mean, obviously, at some point, I'm going to need to make a better axe. But, oh, this is so good. I don't know if I'll be able to get a lot of these. They were from books that I found. Uh, maybe they're in the random enchanting table as well. At some point, I'll get there. Really should set up a cactus farm. A few other things to grind EXP. We got a nice EXP farm on the um, Andre's SMP. It's how I'm fully enchanted netherite, and it's not even been a week yet. All right, so what do we got here? Uh, I need exactly none of this. So let's see where the other chests are. There's another one. Also, Gerbo, End City Explorer map. That just tells you where the End City is. I uh, can't remember if this one has a third one in it or not. It might be that half of the ship, because these two are on this level. I'm going to do a little digging down. I need the blocks anyway. So I'm just going to dig around here a little bit, see if I can find a compartment with a third one. I think this style of ship might be two. Again, the placement is the same as in the overworld, but memory's a little fuzzy. I've been playing a lot of Minecraft, and none of it's involved shipwrecks lately. And I'm going to blur things even more when I set up VR and start streaming VR Minecraft. Because <laughs> uh, that'll rewrite all my muscle memory. Probably not out here. I mean, it might not, might not even be another one. Well, oh, where I need the blocks anyway. That, does, that has mending, right. That's why I've gotten so much mileage out of this pick. That's why I'm hesitant to replace it, even though a diamond pick would be better. Even a diamond pick with less efficiency would be faster than this thing. But I like this pick. I've had this pick through a good chunk of my adventures here, and there's definitely a bit of sentimental value. When I do eventually retire it, I will be framing it and putting it up in my base. Probably not a third chest here. But, you know, it's a good way to top up my my uh, blocks. Which end was the uh, broken half? That end, all right. Well, let's see if there's anything else in... Actually, there might be a room in here. I'm going to double check. might just be the surface actually i'm sort of mentally flipped here because it's upside down yeah yeah i hear you enderman i hear you so no not anything that i can think of there i mean i'm not taking a big loss if i miss anything here i know what the gear is i'm pretty resource rich i mean i'll always take free diamonds but i i mean i have a cash back at base and then I have all the stuff I've picked up since coming here. I actually don't think there's any more. This is just, uh, yeah, this, this is just the half of the ship that's left. All right. Well, I got blocks for days. Not literally because they will run out today. Don't need that. Uh, let's hug an eye. Yeah, still going that way. It broke. Oh, no. My eye broke. That's awful. Whatever will I do? Hey, another another end city over there. Yeah, uh, it's probably gonna be. Well, I'm kind of trending that way, but I'm thinking crossing here and then crossing there is gonna be better. I'm hoping you can see my mouse on this stream. I'm sure you can. All right, yeah. Let's uh, let's find the narrowest point here to cross. Save myself the stress. <laughs> I'm wondering if food might be a concern. What do I have stashed for food? Okay, I got some golden carrots. I got some iron carrots as well. I can always make some more carrots of various types. I've got hay bales. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to run out of food anytime soon. Uh, yeah, this looks right. This looks about right. 
Let's uh, do some brick whipping up. That should get me through a while. Probably shouldn't have converted that all whole cloth like that. But, uh, you know, shift click, gonna shift click. Let's bridge. <gasps> Whoa, nope, nope. Oh, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but that drop, that unexpected drop did make my heart jump into my chest for a minute. All right, the journey continues. I know this is real exciting. Uh, Slow Bridge Simulator 2022. I know I say this every stream. I got to learn how to speed bridge. I mean, I probably wouldn't try it over the void, but just in general, it'll come in handy for manhunts. It'll come in handy for a lot of other stuff. I really should know this. I mean, I can hit water bucket clutches. I built a cactus farm to auto-generate cactus for EXP. There's a lot of stuff I've done that really I should know how to speed bridge. All right, so if I'm going, I'm going to go over here and throw an eye. Spooky noise. I actually, where I'm right here, I might hit up this one. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's got to be up there. That is interesting. So probably here-ish. All right, I'll still get the ship. I'll put a little go here next to guide me that way. That way I don't get turned around with my complete lack of sense of direction. Uh, I want to mainly focus on getting where I'm going, but I'm not going to pass up a ship this close. There's going to be some good loot in that thing. And I gotta get some of this out of my inventory. I have overslabbed. So I'll uh, spend a stack of slabs and maybe maybe two stacks of slabs towering up there. <laughs> Might be able to glide off of the ship and get where I'm going, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, that should be doable. Let's just go up this thing, deal with a couple... Uh, spitty jerks that are going to be up there might just go up into it actually be easier I've had mixed results dealing with the uh, shulkers I mean some places it's easy enough to work your way through some places as folks saw in the previous stream have an overwhelming number of shulkers shoved up in them I uh, took a bit of an L on that one had to grab some backup gear just to fight my way back to my own corpse all right, that's good. I'll do this. Oh, need one more to even it up. All right, now I can use up some other blocks. Exciting towering. I hear them. I hear them. All right. Yeah, they are there. Hopefully not taking pot shots. Yeah. As long as they don't take a pot shot and knock me around. Oh, hello. Watch this. I hope it strikes lightning right now. Oh, you dick. It's not gonna. Watch. The one time I'm like, watch this, it doesn't. All right. Pretend I didn't find it yet. I, yeah, I actually didn't. I got a little sidetracked, as you can tell. Ooh, hands are sweaty. <laughs> this is this is tense. I want to see. Oh my god. Yo, yo, yo. No, no. I gotta kill you. Yeah, get lightning on. Oh shit. Oh shit. All right, all right, all right. I can hang out under this. I can hang out under this and uh, give him a hard time with my crossbow. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Oh, he's in there. Shit. That is what? What? Oh wait, never mind. That was oh, shit. This is gonna be a problem. This is gonna be a problem. That's okay. Okay, okay. I got this. I got this. I got this. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna take a little bath. I'm gonna murder this guy. Yeah, get wrecked. I'm gonna splish splash my regen up. If it wasn't explored, yeah. Does knowing the location count as finding it? Yeah. 
I would say that does count as finding it, even if I didn't explore it. I don't quite know the location yet. I mean, I have a rough idea of where I think it is. But that's not quite the same. Alright, let's, uh... I'm gonna take one of the... I have a lot of health. Let me see. Yeah, I got healing, healing, healing. I have a lot of these. Might see if I can soup them up later with my cleric skills. But I am not hurting for potions right now. There's still a guy alive up there. Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, that... I... Chains. Okay, so there's some stuff that I can grind the levels off of. I'll take that. I'm going to slap down my uh, shulker box. I got lots of space for goodies like that. I'm going to have a grinding fiesta when I eventually do get back to base. And, uh, yeah, see, I got a dragon head. Actually, where are the... I, I probably put the other dragon heads in my, um, in my ender chest, I think. Can't remember. I'm going to grab this one out of there, put it in the other one, just to make sure I have it accounted for. Because otherwise, I will mentally forget. Okay. What... I still don't know what Prospector or Anima Conduit are. I obviously know what Fire Prod is. It's pretty useless because even with max fire prot a speck of fire damage is still a one shot on me that is the weakness of the origin i picked i'm gonna take that uh no i'll toss that in this one they don't stack sadly all right let's make sure that the guy outside isn't going to be a problem for me and then i will fly I'm going to get up to the top of the ladder and then glide. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to toss this up in there. Do I have to fight? Where is this guy? Ah! Gee, I wonder where he is. There's two, actually. Where's the other guy? I hear him. Okay. Let's see if I can... Ah! You turd. You absolute turd. I'm going to crit you so hard. Oh, shit. I'm not going to... I'm going to get tagged again. Yeah! Yeah! I am your god now. And I am a vengeful god. Yeah, it is Minecraft Dungeons that's in there. Um, it's a mod pack of a bunch of different ones. Minecraft Dungeons is definitely one of them. So, uh... I haven't looked up too much because I've really been enjoying uh, just the sort of blind playthrough nature of this. At some point, once I've completed all the main missions I want to do, I am going to do a little more digging into it, learn more about some of the mod packs, because there's all kinds of spells and stuff, and I don't even know what to do with them. So, you know, there's lots of goodies to find and learn throughout the course of this. I don't have any on hand because I've been stashing them in a box. Uh, let's see where was... Go here next. Oh, no. Actually, even though I know I have enough, I am still taking this dragon head. Yeah. I'll be able to make dragon gitter a later. Once my, uh, once my pinky uncramps so I can crouch... <laughs> All right, that's a nice heads up. I'll stack that. I must have put the rest of them in my uh, in my ender chest. <laughs> All right, so I'm going here next. Pretty sure I can make that off of this. I'll just go a wee bit higher though, and I will keep. Some goods in my hand just in case things go wrong. Never ending story. Uh, oh yeah, lots of space. Lots of space. I definitely misjudged the distance. I didn't need to get this high. I say that sometimes after I've gone and enjoyed some premium herb too. I didn't need to get this high. We Whoop. Still took a little bit of physics damage there. Actually, didn't take any damage off of that. All right. 
So go here. Next is now deletable. I should have just pressed delete. Um, let me figure out where this thing is. This way. Adventure! Okay, okay. This is interesting where it's taking me. I've, it's got to be close. Because that's, that's another time that it's changed direction pretty noticeably. I mean, I'm only basing this on experience with the overworld ones. So, you know, I don't 100% know how this one's going to function. But, uh, you know, you follow the eye, you triangulate the position. Normally you dig down, I'm hoping I don't have to do that, because there's only so much down you can dig here. Still that way. All right, what is... I'm just going to bridge straight across there. I don't like that much bridging, but... Uh, it's... Hmm. Is that just more land? It's uh, probably just more land. All right, let's go. Let's... Uh... About here, about here, I think. You guys make such interesting noises. I'd like Endermen more if they weren't so horrifying when you get them mad. Like with that scream they make, it's a little hard to listen to. I don't mind the rest of it, but I get that's the point. There's supposed to be this almost eldritch horror creature that if you mess with them, you're in for a bad time. But uh, also, given I tend to build Enderman grinders when I get the opportunity to, uh, you know, I've heard a lot of their screams. I'm sure a lot of people on the Elation Station have been enjoying the Enderman grinder that I made publicly. I really should check to see if that needs any maintenance. All right, I might miss my target by a little bit here. So I'm going to, of course, change a touch. I'm not the most confident bridger. It's something I gotta work on. But uh, I'm competent, if not confident. All right, so probably still this way. I'm gonna go to that bigger landmass and throw another pearl. Uh, is that just a hole or is that a, yeah, that's just a hole. I thought that might be a temple. I will detour for temples. The loot, like five chests of really good loot, that's something I will not pass up on. Like if there's a temple right next to the stronghold, I'll go to the temple first. Definitely not just because I accidentally exploded the first one I found. Should not have opened that middle chest first. At least not before digging around to find if there's TNT in it. It didn't have a pressure plate, so I was a little off guard but they don't do the pressure plate trap. They do the uh, trapped chest trap, which I really should make some use of. I've had a little bit of an issue of somebody burgling my stuff on the Andres SMP, so I should leave a little bit of uh, bait for people like that. Um, it's more that I was in a claim which should have prevented that from happening, but entities are handled differently than other stuff, so they were able to break an armor stand and take a nice set of armor that I had on it. But uh, still shouldn't have happened. And I know there's people who, if they come across the spot, they see a chest, they're going to try to open the chest. Oof, fingers are so sweaty here. I'm so worried my pinky's just going to fly off of the keyboard and then I'm going to die. Trap chest with a sticky piston. Yeah, I got to learn a little more sticky piston. I want to make like a big old Fort Knox vault in the basement of my house on the Andres SMP. So I got to learn some redstone, some sticky piston anyway, because I want it to be a whole like iron block door that opens in four directions when you hit the switch. And then it's just all kinds of treasure on the other side. Like I've got a good amount of gold blocks and diamond blocks and all that stuff. So I can make a really cool looking vault. Am I going to run out here? Oh, figure so crampy. Uh, I probably will need to craft more before I get to the end of this stretch. Oh. Uh, oh. All right. 
loosen up my fingers a bit. I am glad I swapped um, shift and control around so that cr control is crouch and shift is run. I mean, it's more in line with every other first-person game I've ever played, so it makes the muscle memory transition a little easier. But it does mean tooltips that tell me to press shift don't actually want me to press shift. They want me to crouch, and sometimes that trips me up. All right. I'll just do that. That's not going to be enough either. I'll use it and then I'll make more. Just because I want to keep making progress here. I definitely want to play around more with some redstone traps. I've seen some cool, simple looking ones online. Like redstone pit traps and that sort of thing. Uh, even one where a person jumped into a pool of water and then from from like a cliff and then when the person chasing them followed them the person pr flipped a switch and it raised stone blocks up in the pool of water so that there was no more water to land in i thought that was cool that one could probably see some manhunt utility as well like i'd need to be quick on the draw and sort of have the trap ready before i bait them but uh i think i could make that work practice it a little bit off stream just uh building the actual trap itself fast uh timing the jump timing the switch flip uh, mostly the quick assembly of the trap really and then getting into a position that i can lure the hunters onto it but i can i can think of scenarios where that would work playing playing uh manhunt with a few more traps involved would also be fun and I mean, I feel like it would be entertaining to watch. I know I'd watch it. All right, so, yeah, we're real close here. Whew. All right. Successful bridging. I'm going to grab some more goodies. Actually, I'm going to throw an eye and mine goodies in that direction. All right, still that way, huh? Nice. Just gonna work my way that way. Grab blocks along the way. Can't believe I went. I knew I was gonna go through all those blocks, but I can't believe I went through all those blocks that fast. Oh, what's the map show? Interesting. Anything? More sunken ship. More wide open area. I'm not seeing any structures of interest here. Just Enderman. Enderman everywhere. I like that there's not a lot of openly hostile mobs in the end, though. Basically, there's really just the Shulkers and, of course, the Endermites. Because all the temples I've found have Endermite spawners in them. Uh, there's also mine shafts in the end that are more, of course, end stone and all that mine shafts, and they also have Endermite spawners. Which is great if I can lure some Endermen in because they take care of the problem for me. Tricky if I can't find and neutralize the spawner, though. Endermites are annoying. I mean, every weapon I have can one-shot them, but they are still annoying. Like, I can just get them with this dagger, and it takes out all of them that are on me in one hit. It's cool. But, yeah, they're, they're so small. They're great when you're using them as part of an Enderman grinder. Alright, let's continue. I'm going to go to the edge of this. I'm going to throw another eye. Actually, I haven't looked at the map in a while. Okay, okay, I'm on the other corner. That's interesting. I was in the bottom. Uh, you should bring soul sand. Interesting. Tell me more. What's the soul sand? Oh, do they? Oh, they die in it because they're so small. They suffocate. That is kind of genius, actually. Never would have thought of that. Still going this way, which is interesting. Where did that go? Perfect. What's my easiest? Oh, okay. So my easiest crossing is going to be to go up and around, which I'm going to do. Save myself a little bit of bridging. Takes a little longer, but it's a little less hand crampy. Baby turtles. Oh, but I wouldn't want to kill the wee turtles. They're so freaking cute.
Oh yeah. So on the uh, speaking of cute, on the Andre's SMP, I got a chest enchant called Tamer Three. They have a thing where you can get books for custom enchants, and then you can apply those enchants to armor, weapons, that sort of thing. Tamer Three makes it really likely that you will summon some wolves to fight by your side in combat. Spawns them in that gives them the name C598 Saber Wolf. It spawns three of them whenever it triggers. And they stick around for a while, and of course they fight like wolves. But uh, what I found out is you can tame them with bones, and you can still breed them with meat. When the wolves disappear, because they disappear after the effect ends, the tame the uh the the little pups that you've bred stick around, and of course. They're, they're, baby, they're puppies. They're baby dogs in Minecraft. They're so freaking adorable. They got the big old head on them and the little body, and they just look up at you with those puppy dog eyes, and it's just like, oh my god, you're so cute. You have no business being this cute in this blocky game. Alright, yeah. That is a mine shaft. Ah, uh, the loot in them is actually hot garbage. Uh, there's occasionally a good thing, but for the most part... The chests are not worth the effort, I've found. So I did one or two of them. I'll take a top attack of opportunity on exposed chests when I'm passing by one. But uh, generally, they are not worth the effort. Boop. There we go. That should be plenty to get across this gap. On the other side, I'll chuck another eye and see where it's taking me. It's got to be close. Ah. And I've still got actually three hours pretty much of stream left to find it. Surely, with the amount of times it's already turned, I will find this and plumb the depths of it in that time frame. I've got to be real close. I mean, I have covered a lot of distance. Like, look at this. I am... Negative 11,000 on the X, negative 5,000 on the Z axis. I have gone some distance. Another, uh, another end city. I'll cross over here into the main land mass before I chuck another eye, because obviously it's not here. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, okay. Technically, I could cross that like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna still bridge it. Save myself a little bit of time going down and then back up. I don't know why I'm doing that. Obviously, I can just jump up. The void makes me real nervous, though. All right, let's see what we got here. What direction is she gonna go? This way. The adventure continues. Oh, it broke. Oh no, I've only got 27 plus another 12 left. I hope it's not a massive portal that I gotta fill in. I actually might still have some. Yeah, I have 10 blaze rods and a buttload of uh, pearls, so I think I'm good. Uh, looks like I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go here, see what it looks like, and then maybe bridge to there. They're both about the same, but this will give me more of a POV over there to see what's uh. What's up across the uh, across the island? See if I'm real close on it or not. Wait a minute. Oh, it's an it's a. <laughs> I already got an achievement about a useless portal a couple streams ago when I found one of those. You can fix it, but of course it uh, six by six by six by six. Yeah. I mean, it's probably going to be a normal portal. It is still repurposed structures mod that's, uh, I think, making it. I am going to see what's in that end portal, though. That nether portal. It's, uh, which it did give me a hilarious advancement last time I found one of those. I did also complete it and try to light it. Okay. Well, we got ourselves a little detour going to happen here because... Oh, no, wait. Is that just... Yeah, that's just a uh, end city. I want that, um, I want that temple. Okay, so portal, temple, continuing. Don't use that, should have used, don't use that power on the eyes of Ender. Yeah, that would have been five minutes of no chucking eyes. I would have found something else to do. I would have just followed the map, I think, is my best counter to that. 
or explored other rando stuff. It's... That is an... Obs oh, wait, that's mending. Which I need to get on my axe. Efficiency 2 and breaking 2. That's a lot of iron. Yeah. Yeah, the, the don't do that is basically a 5 minute thing. That is a shit ton of iron. Prot 3. What are my, what's on my boots right now? Prot 4. So the mending axe, very useful. I can stick that onto my other axe after I turn it into rose gold. The rest of this is junk. Prot 4, Respiration 3. Uh, I've already got Prot 4, and I don't need Respiration. All right, yeah. That ain't bad. That's not bad at all, actually. I can definitely not afford to upgrade that right now. I am certain of that. I'll still try. Look at all this iron. That is so much iron. I love it. Thank you, video game, for the spooky noise. Actually, that noise isn't that bad. There's some noises that are definitely spookier. Where is my upgrading table? Did I bring one with me? Doesn't look like I brought one with me, which makes sense. Why would I? But what I have is everything I need to make it work. So, crafting table. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need to pull some wood. Phrasing. All right, so crafting table, this, this, smithing table, that's the actual name of it. This plus this, rose gold axe with mending, which I go on to the anvil. I want all of these, thundering prospector, sharpness, freezing, and breaking. 37 levels, thundering, so let me flip this around. Too expensive. So, yeah, I, I'm a ways away from affording that. That'll be a goal, though, because I love this axe and I don't want to lose it. But, oh, yeah, I'm really hitting the edge of that. I wish there was no such thing as too expensive. Like, let me grind the levels no matter what it is. Like, I don't feel like that's an unfair thing to expect. So for now, I'll toss my mending axe here. Have it hang out with all my other goodies. Inventory is starting to get a little nuts again. But, uh... Before I hit that thing, I'll probably make another end chest and see what the situation is in that. Take you with me. Take you with me. I don't need you. All right, toss that back up in there. Do that like that. Actually, I won't be needing that right away. I will be needing block. I shouldn't have. Eh, let's see. Let's see if I can get to that without having to do much. Yeah, I can do that without bridging. All right, let's go around. I'll go wide around, because that'll give me a little bit more loading on that side. I'm getting sidetracked a little here, which is why it's probably taking me as long as it has to get where I'm... Is that a ship? Kind of looks... Oh, uh, no, it's a... I mean, it's it's a mine shaft, but it kind of looks like that's the head of a ship there. Really looks like a ship. I'm just going to see if I can get a better angle on that, because curiosity... And that is, uh, that's a sunken ship. I mean, that is 100% what that is, right? Oh, yeah. If you, if you look at the line, it's going right there. Never mind. Never mind. Thought it might have been something, uh, something a little cooler than that. But, uh, now we have solved that mystery. Can't wait to delete all this crap off of my map later. Thank you for the burp, Minecraft character. Appreciate, really appreciate it. Yeah, for some reason, one of the mod packs has added burping. And it just randomly happens. I think it's converting uh, saturation into hunger shanks. And that just sort of triggers the effect. It uh, could probably do that a little quieter. It was funny at first, but it's come up a lot. All right, we have got us another temple. I'm going to go in real quick and neutralize the spawners, and then I'll set up shop and uh, figure some stuff out. Yeah, get racked. Get wrecked. Let me just, uh, can't pick that up. 
That's weird. I'm right on it. All right. Well, I, I don't know what they do, but I've been collecting them. These little souls that you get from spawners. Just in case one of the mods later on... Yeah, conjuring. What what do I do with a conjuration essence? I don't know, but I really want to find out. So I've been saving them up. All right, so I need one eye. Wherever will I get that? And I need uh, eight obsidian. So I'm just going to set up a little uh, temporary base camp out here. Make a chest here. Gonna slap down my... Actually, I'll say, hang on to the shulker box in case I want to put stuff right into it when I'm down in there. Let's see. Then where are my dragon heads? I definitely had multiple dragon heads. I had at least three. I'm gonna look in these shulker boxes. Because this, uh, this is a little concerning. Do they maybe disappear if they're stacked between sessions? Oh no, they're there. Alright, cool. I'll take that. I'll put that in there. I definitely have enough. I have so much crap that I can't wait to grind the enchantments off of. That'll be so much EXP later. Starting to, oh, I have steak. I was about to say, I'm starting to get low on food. Whatever will I do? And then I have steak in addition to all that other food I was talking about earlier. So yeah, that one's full. That one's full. Uh, is this one full or is it the other one? Yep, that one's not full. Cool. That one's full. See, I have heal spell, but it says it's Minecraft that it comes from. I don't believe no, like this is not in Minecraft, but it rather than being like it's it's a spell book. It says RLR. I don't know what that means. If it's right left, if it's like left, oh, sorry, yeah, obviously left, right, left. RLR in my hand brings that up and reloads my shaders. So I'm not sure how that works. I'm going to look into that at some point. So I've hung on to a few of them because they look cool. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll leave... Uh, yeah, I'll leave four of those in there. Toss the rest in here. Is there any other junk I want to send back through right now? Not really. Yeah, I'm... Maybe, maybe this guy, uh, yeah, maybe those, most of this I'm going to need still. Yeah, yeah, so it's not really helping me much right now, but I have so many elytras. And I'll leave that there because it's not worth mining for the eight obsidian where I have so much obsidian. And I might eventually find my way back here and need it. You never know. All right, let's uh, let's raid this bad boy. Oh, wait! Before I do that, let me make a quick, quick lapple. The old lapis apple. Take an apple out of my face. Is there a use for elytras? Uh, I don't know if there is a use for elytras above and beyond the standard use for elytras. Uh, okay, so there is just this. I don't know what this is all about. The Croptopia book. It comes up when I search for elytra. Don't, un don't quite understand what I'm looking at with that. But it doesn't seem to be anything right now that calls for elytras. Again, above and beyond me using elytras to fly around. But... Uh, you know, by having these elytras, it saves me a little bit of trouble in terms of uh, just straight up having to worry about repairing the elytra. You know, if one breaks on me, oh, I've got seven left. Whoop. Ah, yeah, I forgot. Well, I mean, I got feather falling on here, so that wasn't a big deal. But I still completely forgot to water bucket. All right, let's disarm this bad boy. There's so much TNT here. Shit really goes badly if you open that chest. Like, it was very explodey. And I think it's just the middle one that sets it off. Because that guy's sitting on a regular thing. I think, yeah, I think that's, oh, yeah, that's what sets off a crazy chain of, uh, all the shit getting destroyed. Whoop, 
No, okay. Concrete. I'll just fill in enough of this that I can walk around comfortably. Oh, there's so much junk. I'll toss it in a chest in a moment. I'm going to pop my lapel for luck. There we go. All right, let's start looting. Purple glazed terracotta is pretty, but not useful. Other than for pillaring out of here in a minute. I'll take the bottle of enchanting. I'll take the eyes. And I will definitely take the diamond. I've been collecting the phantom membranes too. Just, you know, because I got the spot for them. So that guy's done. So many. Ooh, that's a cool looking banner. I'm going to take that. I don't need it for anything. But I'm yoinking it because it looks good. Taking all these emeralds. Taking all these eyes. Taking the banner. Yeah. That'll look cool on a shield. Nope, that one doesn't go in there. It goes in here with my mind goodies. So that is chest number two. I don't need any of this. I have so much chorus fruit. This guy has a shulker shell for me. A lot of obsidian. Fire prot for efficiency for. Again, not particularly useful. I probably already have a black banner yet. Oh, yeah, I do. I put a shield on it to make a black shield. And now I understand where the white shield that they gave us out at, gave out to us at the start of the Andres SMP came from. So I was worried when I lost mine that it's like, oh, I, whoa, what? All right, so it's still this one's not as strong or fast, but that is freaking cool, and that's gonna replace the plain Jane Elytra that's currently in my inventory. Uh, where is that plain gene elytra? I don't know. So I will deal with that later. That is so much cooler, though. <laughs> like a dark cantana. Look at how edgy I am. And stronghold map. I've already got one of those. So, yeah, that's another enchantable goodie. I think those are the main four. Fire aspect, another black banner. This one kind of junk. Let's whoop nope 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 let's do this. It doesn't let you put shulker boxes inside of backpacks. Which I mean ultimately does make sense because otherwise you'd just be storing infinite amount of stuff. But you know, oh geez, I have a stack of TNT. Do I really need more than a stack of TNT? Uh, it feels a shame to waste it, but at the same point, it's a stack of TNT already. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll use that to bridge my way up. Um, Obviously, I'm taking my shulker with me. Boop. Boop. That's all good to go. Yeah, I'll have that hang out there. All right, yeah, let's uh, let's get out of this place. Now that I've successfully ransacked another one of these temples. You can't, yeah, you can't. I wish I could. I tried it. It won't let you even touch the shulker box when you're in a backpack. Like, check this out. So, obviously, I grabbed the shulker box. It won't let me release it here, but now it also won't let me release it here. Like, I have to exit out of that. Like, it straight up has everything in place to make it so that you don't or can't do that. Which is like, okay, fair. I would abuse the shit out of it. I'd have a backpack that's nothing but shulker boxes. Alright, let's see. Um, still taking this with me. Obviously, I'm still leaving that. But where the frig is the katana? Alright, I'm gonna pop these boys open again. Because I know the katana is in one of them. There we go. Because I don't need this plain-ass katana when I have a dark katana. And now, uh, look, look at the damage difference. Yeah, dark katana, uh, regular katana. Boo, an ender bag. Good question. I don't know if there is. So there are various backpacks, and I'm not at the highest level of backpack yet. There's a couple more, I believe. So right now, I've got a couple bejeweled ba backpacks. If I can spell backpack right. So beyond the bejeweled backpack, there is the blazing backpack. There is the withered backpack. And there's the endless backpack. Which, okay. 
So that's cool. Then I need uh, soul sand for that one. I need to kill the wither to get the withered backpack. I need netherite for the blazing backpack. Four netherite ingots. That's going to be a trip to the nether where I, <laughs> again, fire one shots me. So I take trips to the nether very, very carefully because I do not want to be one shot. Uh, but uh, Ender, yeah, good call. I'm going to see what Ender brings up. So, of course, Ender chest, uh, Enderman spawn egg, which is not craftable. It just exists. Netherite emerald gear pacifies endermen. That's cool. Pacifies piglins. Uh, yeah, there's some cool stuff that can be made. Yeah, just like extra things. Advanced netherite. Uh, unstable shoes. Ender ender pouch. Okay. Interesting. Oh, this one. Ender. Th this is also an ender pouch. This is an ender pouch with some stuff I haven't seen yet. And this is a much cheaper ender pouch. Let's see. Unstable sat. Yeah. This one. Equipable in the belt trinket slot. That's handy. Uh, lots of various pieces of armor. I'm going to see what this one does. Inmiss. All right. We wish you a merry inmiss. All right. So step one. I'm gonna get all my uh, all my chickens home to roost, so to speak. Step two, crafting table coming back. Oh, actually, I might as well tuck these full ones away. Is that one full? Yeah, that one's full. Tuck these full guys away. I'm gonna whip out my crafting bench. I'm gonna crack into my obsidian supply. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't have I don't have enough obsidian for this. I do have I sure I had leather. Do I not have leather on me? I don't think I have leather actually. Leather's back at base. So we're going to put a little pin in that one for now cuz I can't get leather. We'll come back to that though. I'm definitely want to make that and see what it's like. It's just off the table for now. Oh, wait. I should probably also give myself a little splash. Heal myself up. Anything to craft leather? Good question. Let's see. Okay. Leather can be made out of rabbit hide. Uh, leather horse armor. Yeah, it looks like just the standard... Saddle turn into leather. I don't think saddle turns into leather, but I am willing to try because I know I have a saddle. What is happening here with my inventory? Why is it dark? What is... Uh, something's a little glitchy. Did I accidentally hit E-A-T-H-H? -H? Oh, search. Search is on. Inventory. How, how do I turn that off? Double click the search bar. Okay. Okay. Good. There we go. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Let's. Uh, what was I check? What was I checking here? Um. Whoop. B. Saddle. 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 I don't know if I have a saddle. Actually. I might have one in one of my uh, in one of my ender chests. So let's dig them back out. If not, I'll definitely grab the next one. Oh, you saw it. You saw it. Nice. Okay. Help me out here. Which one was it in? Was it in the ender chest? Was it in one of my uh, one of my these guys? Yeah, there we go. Let's see if I can make leather out of this guy. Maybe just recycle this. Uh, doesn't seem to want to let me do that here. Uh, first one. Yeah, all right. Saddle. I'm just seeing if there's a reverse craft. You can't even regular craft it, craft it though. So there doesn't seem to be that I can do anything with the saddle. Good hunch, though. I, I like that line of thinking. 
we will still be we're still back in the we got to put a pin in this one just for now some mod packs you can reverse thing wool equals string that makes sense i've seen i've played some mod packs that do that too so you know it is definitely worth trying in this case it didn't pan out but that doesn't mean it's always gonna pan, not pan out i didn't grab the gold block when i was over there don't know why I would do that. Uh, I'm going to chuck an eye, and I'm not going to detour for the gold block much. Uncrafting. Uncrafting. Nope. Looks like just uh, Croptopia. Croptopia seems to be doing catch-all on, on my searches here. All right. I'm not forgetting anything. Going to throw an eye. Oh, yeah. I got I to gotta swing by that way anyway. I'm definitely grabbing that gold block. I don't need it at all. In fact, iron apples are better than golden apples. I'm still going to take it. Amassing all kinds of wealth here. Plus, I mean, even if they don't give buffs like the other carrots do, golden carrots are still a good food. They, uh, they really do feed you. So I will take all the gold... And trading with piglins is a great source of fire prot potions for me to upgrade. Yeah, there we go. Nope, not this one. Boop. Like that. Getting wealthier. I am harvesting the wealth of the end. All right, all right. Which way was I going? Good question. Let's let's hook an eye. Oh wow, I was just coincidentally facing the right direction, huh? That hung out there for a minute. I'm gonna look down this. I don't think it's down here. There's probably mods for uncrafting. Gold ingots in your backpack into blocks. I definitely will once st space becomes more of an issue in that one. I've got lots of slots right now, and this is my s mining stuff backpack, basically. Like, all the stuff you could find while mining, basically. I'm sort of sorting it a little. So, But I will definitely condense a lot of the ingots into blocks as space becomes needed. Plus, I don't know if slash when I will need to make some golden apples. Although, again, iron apples have been outperforming them. Uh -huh. Alright, looks like I'm bridging across here. Uh, I'm going to make some. I won't make a... Oh, wait. Shift click. There we go, that'll be enough. About here. I know it's going to be sort of that way, and I'm going to have to do a lot of bridging soon. But this will at least give me a bit more of a straight line. I'll consult the old map again when I get on the other side of this. Map hasn't been a big help during this journey. Good. I was worried for a split second that I looked at an Enderman. And having an Enderman run out on here and knock me off the edge would be less than ideal. Okay, so still not on the map. But uh, I'm definitely getting closer. Uh, let's see what direction it's taking me. Oh yeah, straight that way. Let's see, uh, I can probably leapfrog there, 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 rather than bridging straight across. It'd be the safer move. Yeah, I think I got the blocks for at least this next stage of it here. So if I go down here and then bridge across, I shouldn't have to course correct too much. Actually, that's a good launching point right there. But I'm definitely making way more of these bad boys. I'm going to need them. <laughs> I am 
Upgraded the map with paper. Ooh, okay. That's an interesting look. Never tried it with any of the maps that find stuff. Yeah. What is this? Is that just a mine shaft? Give me a sec. Give me a second here. I want to see what that's all about. I mean, it's clearly a shulker box down there. Ah, yeah, it's one of these. It's, uh, they're, they're like little mini ones that they have floating around in this place. Uh, if I remember... Yo, yeah, get up. Whoa, fuck. Oh, you dick. Oh, Hey, hey, stay off of me, stay off of me. Stay off of me, let me heal, let me heal. That was close. Yeah, no, I've, I've run into these before. So they, they do have some good stuff. I definitely got to break that. Yeah. Yeah, don't die. I was close. That would have been a journey back. Are they all dead? No. Oh, wow. Look at you. Employee of the year, huh? And there's definitely going to be one under this one. Maybe. Yeah, knew it. Where are you? I hear you. It just died. But this does give me a couple of ender chests. Yeah, no, I take extra melee damage because of the whole siren thing. I keep forgetting to use my siren ability to charm monsters, though, and I really should because it gets me out of a fight real fast, and I've taken some, I've taken some L's by not using the ability well. I don't know what to do with this. These are just there. I can't mine them. I think they're just decorative. All right, what do we got? This is garbage. Void Strike 2. Now, you know, I will definitely be taking the hoe. I can grind the EXP off of it. Plus, I'm uh, probably going to need another of those anyway. Most of this is not useful to me. Where'd the hoe go? And let's see what's in this guy. I already have that. Uh, don't need that one. Complete, complete garbage. Like, these these, these are not great. I have lots of all this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of switcheroonie, though. In that, I'm gonna stash what can be stashed. I'm going to dump everything else into the other block, and I'm going to take this one with me. I don't need two buckets. I, mean, I already have buckets to spare. Do I have gunpowder? Yeah, I've got 40 gunpowder in here. i got gunpowder back at base. Uh, yeah, i got lots. I mean, I definitely am taking the gunpowder with me when I do that. I mean, I probably got more gunpowder than I'll ever realistically use, but I don't leave that unlooted. All right, so yeah, I'm taking this one. That one is mine for late. Oh, yeah, I can't put it in anything. Well, that'll be my next one. That's on deck to replace the current one. Let me, where's my exit hole? There's my exit hole. Definitely not just using this as an excuse to get a few more blocks along the way. Since I could just water up this quite easily. Alright. Now that I've appropriately detoured myself, which direction was I going? I'm going to go back here and throw it so that way it doesn't fly off the edge. Yeah. So what was my plan? Yeah, straight across here and then leapfrog. Alright, that was a good catch out of the corner of my eye. Wearing fine paper somewhere, you can make fireworks. That is, yeah, I've been trying to get paper. I haven't come across any paper. I don't have any sugar cane on me or I do a little paper farm just to do that because fireworks would be nice. I found fireworks star at some point earlier. I don't know where I put that, but I also don't want to make explodey fireworks because that will hurt. So... Paper is definitely on my hit list. I wish I could uncraft the book. Nope, can't tear the pages out of the book. 
Let me just see paper. There is one crafting method for the paper. You didn't pick it up. The ones I saw? Yeah, because I've already got some from uh, one or two streams ago. And I didn't. I decided not to keep picking it up and clogging my inventory with it. I took a little bit to bring home with. All right. So back to where I was going here. Limber up my hands again. Yeah, hydrate. Good to see you there, Nitro. I hope you've also been enjoying your adventures. Yeah, liquid. Yeah. Drinking lots of liquid, mostly just water, but I've also got this coffee yogurt shaker mix that I had mostly for breakfast to make sure I was nice and awake for an interview I had earlier, but it's carrying forward to keeping me nice and awake for now. Here we go. I'm going to run out before I cross. I mean, I'm going to run out of the stack, I should say. Oh, yeah. I see where I'm targeting for. Whew. Out there too far away. Locked eyes with an Enderman for a moment. I'm like, oh, no. Don't you teleport your way out here. But yeah, the Hydrate one is clear. Uh, one of the cheaper redeemables for the power level. And it uh, just means I take, a, uh, I take a drink of water. Which, I mean, I've been doing throughout anyway. But I uh, also will drink it when prompted by that. Just like any of the redeemables I've set up. Enderman, yeah, they, they do teleport. And I have had one teleport onto a platform with me before. Oh, no, they straight up teleport. Like, they... Whoop. And it's basically an eye of ender without the da uh, sorry, a ender pearl without the damage. So it needs to be within a line of sight, I believe. But they can get out on there with you. I think. I might be misremembering, but I feel like I've had a situation like this come up before and have had to fight an enderman off of the platform. Which is, you know, you just shield and shove them off, really. But still, the risk of them being angry and coming up behind you is enough to make me be cautious. Alright, so I'm going still this way. Probably too soon to do another one, but I'm yeah, I'm just chucking an eye. I have them to spare. Enderman hits so hard. I don't like messing with Enderman because of how hard they hit. Soul stand, interesting. That is actually really cool to know. We're learning all kinds of stuff. Soul stand is apparently worth a lot more than I thought it was. I got enough to get across there. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, Mr. Enderman. I wish Endermen were like piglins and I could give them gold or chorus fruit or something and they'd be happy. I do like that some of the armor I get pacifies Endermen, pacifies pigmen. So presumably would eliminate that threat. So as much as I've been enjoying this emerald armor and all the bonus emeralds it's been getting me, might have to look into some of those enhanced netherite armors down the road. Because they look cool as heck. Oh, my nose is very itchy right now, suddenly. I'm going to... Get myself safe and scratch it here for a second. <laughs> Didn't want to be out on the edge. Yep, I knew I was going to run out of that one. Actually, shit, I might run out of uh, this one too. We'll see. Probably will. Yeah. 
I would. I, the only reason I'm not using pearls is I want to leave an easy path for myself. If I die, I'm gonna come back with nothing to get my corpse, or if I eventually want to make a return trip and backpack backtrack to some of this stuff. That's the only reason I'm doing it like this. I want to leave as much of a good time for future Blake as I possibly can. Maybe it never comes up. Maybe I wasted a bunch of time and materials. But uh, better than the alternative of <laughs> dying and having nothing and needing to mine blocks. Plus, it draws a cool path across the map of where I've gone. And I do kind of like that. Right, I'll be I'll be here. Yeah, I'll be good. I will need to mine more on the other side here, though, before I go on to my next island. Oh, why is my eyes, why is my nose so itchy? See, it leaves this little trail of bridges everywhere I've gone, and I think that is kind of cool. Jeez, I'm really on a bit of a journey here with this thing, though. Alright, let's chuck one while I'm on here. And then I'll dig up some goods. Probably a completely unnecessary throw. Yeah, it's still going the same direction. Yeah, I'm going that way. So I'll just leave a little marker right there. That's obviously out of place. And I'm going to do a little bit of mining. Get me some end stone. End stone. Mining end stone. It's the end of stone in history. Something. Something, something. Better Minecraft gave us trees in the end. I, I don't know where I'm going with that. Getting these goods. I was just going to take... Now nah, there's nothing cool on the map. Was... Just taking a look, of course, to see if there's anything interesting standing out. I mean, ships everywhere. Need sugarcane in the end and cows, yeah. I mean, I could always drag a cow through on a lead. <laughs> but I don't think the cow would have a good time. I've done it before, though. I mean, I've had full-on farms in the end. Like, I've grown crops, I've grown trees, I've had pens for various animals. Chickens, obviously, are a lot easier to get in because you just take, get a few stacks of eggs and you throw enough of them and they will make baby chicks. But uh, I've done the whole using a lead, using a boat to get stuff into my farm in the end and basically become fully sustainable in the end. Play, I've played on a Minecraft server or three. Glacian Station still currently my favorite, though. Just such a good community on that one. Some mods allow capturing mod mobs, yeah. That is also pretty cool when you get stuff like that. It would also make life easier on a lot of different servers. You could capture mobs and uh, take them somewhere else, especially those ones that have random teleport features. Because then you can RTP, find the mob, your mob capturing available on Elation Station. Very nice, very nice. Another point in favor of Elation Station being the true best server. So I have a cool home on Elation Station. I built the best Enderman grinder that the Elation Station has seen. A lot of cool people I play on there with. But, of course, I get ADHD, so my attention wanders to a bunch of different kinds of servers. So, But I do like flying around on the broom very much on the Elation Station. That's one of my favorite little quality of life add-ons. Don't really have any equivalent on the Andres SMP. I mean, if you buy a high enough rank, you can use Fly anywhere. That feels cheaty, but I do enjoy using Fly within my claim. Hey, Leo, welcome back. Good to see you. We're still, still questing towards this end stronghold. It's, I'm sure I'm getting close. I am ridiculously deep into the end, though. I have seen such things. 
That's quite the journey I've been taking. So had been having a good day. I'm all nice and caffeinated from earlier. I wanted to have all my brain juice available to me for that uh, interview, which I think went really well. It's technically a bilingual position, and I am monolingual, but all the rest of my skills are well and above. I am assuming the end stronghold is from a repurposed structures mod. See, there's this. And I'm thinking that's where a lot of the additional additional structures in the end and in the nether came from. I don't know if that is also where the end stronghold came from. There's no mod with specific stronghold in the name, though. So, not sure. Haven't done too much digging into it, because, again, I want this to be kind of blind playthrough -y. Really, only the stuff that I looked up because I had no other alternative to figure something out or the stuff that I've learned along the way. Which is why uh, Pennell does know about the end stronghold, but has been nice in not spoiling anything for me, other than that it's really cool. Which I kind of figured it would be. I mean, you go through all this to get there. It's got to be cool. I don't know if I'm going to fill in a portal and go through to somewhere else. Whoop, I made a friend. I made a friend. All right, where is he? Where is he? Yep. <laughs> Too bad my axe sometimes freezes people, slaps them with a big old slowness. So, uh, and Stronghold does say it's in. That makes sense. The Stronghold map itself says it's from Minecraft, but there's a lot of stuff that says it's from Minecraft that's actually not. All right, we are on a nice new uh, continent here. I'm going to huck another eye. Yep, still that way. Jeez, I took a little bit of damage off of that guy, huh? Did that break? It says fall, but I'm not seeing it. I think it broke. Yeah. yeah, I know. I might eventually run out of eyes if I don't find any other treasure chest between now and then. And that happens like 60 more times. I might be in trouble. Whoop. I uh, should have timed that a little better. There we go. I'm going to take a look at this shipwreck that's right on the way. As low as... 8,000 blocks. That's kind of nuts. I don't need... Fuck! Did I seriously just do that? Oh, this guy This guy is probably pushing for employee of the year, huh? Where'd he go? Oh! Lulled me into a little sense of false security there. Okay. So as part of my siren ability, being underwater is OP. Like, it gives me all this. I have to have the bubbles up. I can't just be standing in a puddle of water at my feet. I have to be breathing underwater to be able to get the effect. But when I have it, I swim so freaking fast. It's great. Like, it's so much fun navigating rivers in the overworld with this. It's, I think, worth the deadly allergy to fire. All right, let's have a look at this bad boy. I know there's going to be, I think, two chests in this one. I know none of them are exposed right now. Which means i got to do a little digging. So let's work my way through this one. I don't remember the routing for this one from the overworld equivalent. So I'm just going to dig. No digging. Okay, so technically speaking here, I know I just called it digging. So do we all agree that mining is digging? Or would it have to be using a shovel specifically? No, I'm not going to be a smartass on this. I get, I get the intent of this one. Let me grab my timer. Uh, five minutes. Timer. 
And uh, so, yeah, no digging for five minutes, which means I'm just eyeballing this and moving on, really. TNT! Oh my god, yes! I have so much TNT. So, uh, this could kill me. Because uh, <laughs> I am deathly allergic to fire. It counts TNT damage as fire damage. My Facebook has been blowing up. Don't know why. Hungy. I didn't mind. Ignore that. All right. Digging down means moving earth. But yeah, no, we're, we're, I understand the intent of Leo's redemption there. All I want is for to not destroy the chest. I made a shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Use my ability, use my ability. Make friends. Axe. Apple. Never leaving my axe out of my inventory, out of my hand again. Thankfully, my siren ability charmed these guys into not wanting to murder me. <sighs> Say, they hit so hard. Yeah, yeah, enjoy your water, dickhead. Whew. You just put water in the ground when that happens. Yeah, that, that would have uh, been the smart call. I completely agree there. I was a little slow on the uptake. Sometimes I lock up a little in panicky situations and then take a death that was unnecessary. All right, let's uh, rearrange things and continue my explodey exploration here. Oh, let me make sure my timer is up on my phone. Yeah, three minutes left of doing this. Oh yeah, that's two of them, man. I did. Nobody else showing up with beef? Nobody else? Hey! <laughs> that is garbage. Yay, garbage. Actually, I am going to take the enchanted goods, though. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, paper! Ooh, and a battle staff. Interesting. So I did find enough paper. Can I make fireworks with that? We go and find out. Yeah, this is this is good. This is a really good find. Let me um, get my inventory management. Um, that's supposed to open, right? Maybe it doesn't open if it's yeah. There. Oh, that's not even the right. Sh Where's the other shulker box? Did I leave a shulker box behind somewhere? I think I might have left a shulker box behind somewhere. Ugh. Uh, well, rip. I think I left it back in that little uh, that little dungeon that I found. Which, yeah, no clue where the fuck that is. So whatever it was, I'm hoping was not super important. I think it was just enchanted goods I was stuffing in there. Um, I got that, that, yeah. I'm... Either I put it in the ender chest or I put it in the shulker box. Either, no, either put it in the ender chest or left it behind. It's gone now, so there's no point really worrying about that. I'm going to take these bad boys, though. And I'm going to whip out some fun powder. Yeah, look at that nine fireworks rockets. Yeah, that that sounds like me. That is a completely me move to make. <laughs> it says when you got the hoe, re held a message for reason. Misogyny. Allow will post it to chat. <laughs> Fair, I guess. I'd rather it be over whatever, then miss stuff. Uh, I'm going to take the staff, because that's kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know if I missed any... I don't. I guess I'll either eventually find my way back, because I know the route I took, or I'll just, you know, forget about it. 
Oh, that is my no digging timer. But I'm not going to go immediately back in digging anyway. I'm sorting stuff a little bit here. It does mean, however, I don't have to take on the continued risk of TNT. Appreciate the redemp redemptions. Of course, I might look at making those longer t or cheaper to make them more bang for a person's buck. Might find myself hating myself for doing that at some point, but uh, I want to make sure people are happy with the redemption. All right, so that's the one chest. Let's see. Um, it's this shape. What are you can use the blue soul things for? Uh, I don't know. Uh, soul alloy, soul slice, soul alloy. A soul slice is oh nether star. So I can make. A soul slice. Uh, we can make a soul alloy. That actually make, looks pretty makeable. Don't know what that does. Um, there's a lot of things with soul in the name. Not sure. Soul rod. Wonder what that does. Conjuration. Right click it. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Right. Ah. So you put it in a bottle and it's distilled spirit. Maybe don't drink it. I'm totally gonna friggin' drink it. What's... I don't know what J-E-I is. I, I will be completely honest with you here. Aspect gem. Can you... You can put those together. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, no, that only does... The mod I'm using. Okay. Yeah, the overall mod pack is... Uh, Oh, this, yeah, fair enough. Ah, okay, I get, I get you. Yeah, I don't really know a lot about the mod pack, the mods that are part of this mod pack, above and beyond the stuff that directly affects Origins. It does look like, however, those soul, those uh, solely boys can be used in potions. It stands for just enough something, but I, I, I get the gist anyway. So yeah, we are on a continuing journey. I'm going to put those there as a clutch item. I don't need Mr. Stabby right now, I don't think. Let's uh, let's dig around a little bit. I know this has got to have a second chest. Is it, is it here or is it deeper? Again, I don't know the routing of some of these. I know the big ones. I know where all three of the treasure chests are in the real big ones, though. Locks this way. Definitely got more than five minutes out of me not my, not digging or mining anything because uh, when the timer ran up, I was still distracted with something. All right, so it's either going to be in here, maybe. Glad this thing has mending on it. This, this would be so gone if it didn't have mending on it. There's the one I've already raided. It's probably not down there. It's probably here or below. I ah, feed the beast. I technically used... Um, did he teleport because he's mad or did he teleport just because? I didn't hear him screaming, and I'm not getting the crap beat out of me. So I'm going to assume he's just teleporting for funsies. Still trippy to hear it most of the time. You hang around them, and they don't teleport a lot. At 4 o'clock, which is coming up in 5 minutes, I'm going to take a bit of a break. I need to refill my glass of water. I need to get a little snack or something in as well. And that'll be a 15-minute break. That's usually how I do these. I also noticed I got an email for a background check for that whole uh, thing that I've applied for. Which, uh, as soon as I make it big enough as a streamer that I can do this full-time, I want to have this be my job but in the meanwhile still gotta pay rent and it takes a bit to build an audience all i can do is try to make the best content i can and hope people like it 
Which is why I've also been editing some videos for YouTube lately. Like, I got my uh, Minecraft One Hunter vs. Three Runners video. I've got the Lava Rises one. I've got some shit post videos. Because <laughs> uh, I just make stuff that I find funny. And, of course, I've got all the VODs. I dump all my raw VODs up on there. I don't think I'm finding a second treasure chest here. This might be a one -er. It's big enough ship that I'm not sure it should be a one -er. But it is definitely looking like a one -er, And I don't think there's anything in it that's worth me keeping on this anymore. I've scooped a good chunk of this out. Uh, I really got to learn the road. I'm going to check this front just a little bit more. I'm... Paper. Yes, paper is a good thing to get on here. You're right. Although I think I got the soul chest with paper. Because when, when there's, I think, three types of chests in these. One of them's got paper and maps. One of them has got, like, ingots and such. And one of them's got food and enchanted items. That's generally the pattern I see in ships. So where we've already got the paper one, it would only be worth it to find the gems and such. And, uh, yeah, I'm on the outside of the boat. What am I doing? There's not going to be a chest under it. It's, uh, let's see if I'm looking at the shape of the boat sideways. I'm definitely not just turning my head sideways. Actually, I think the part that would have the chest is either deep in under here or just straight up gone. I'm going to dig my way out through this way, though, just in case. Yeah, paper, big time worth. I should have been scouring these earlier with paper, but I'm so used to ignoring paper that it doesn't even flag mentally, you know what I mean? Holy crap, I'm hungry. All right. All right, so I'm not finding what I'm looking for here. That's okay. I'm going to continue my journey. I got paper, which is big. I have nine fireworks. Does it have or excavate? I don't know. Is there a way I would or X Croptopia? Fuck, I always Croptopia. I don't know if it has. I can check, actually. No. Okay, doesn't appear to be. Keybinds. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me. Controls. Keybinds. No, sad. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it has it. It doesn't really have a lot of new stuff in it. I mean, it's got some stuff I'm never gonna deal with. It's got some stuff that uh, yeah, origin stuff, Ender Pouch, place item in world, all that kind of stuff. I guess I'll need to remap that Ender Pouch one. Paper handed beach. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it's got it. It has its own tab if it's in. All right. Good to know. Well, I'm going to throw one of these to get my direction sorted out again. And then I'm going to take my break. I'll be back at 4.15. Going to throw on some good music for you folks in the meanwhile, though. So, as usual, it's going to be the Pig Step Jazz Arrangement by Insane in the Rain Music featuring Lena Rain. It's really good. I like it. So, I'm going to give you folks this to enjoy well i am taking a much needed stretch snack drink break here we go oh wait i should start it at the beginning that's right i had to pause it midway through all right enjoy
Uh, there's no real good spot to interrupt this song, so that's as close as it's going to get. I'm back from break. This song has still had three minutes left on it. I really got to do the head math better on this so that I don't do situations like that. But uh, I'm back. Going to get my butt back into Soul of Origins. I know I was checking something cool out. Uh, I think I had centered myself on going forward. So now I 100% can get out of a bad spot if I fall into the void, because I got fireworks rockets. I got an elytra on. I can probably shunt that out of my inventory. Uh, yeah, put that there. I have a utility... No, 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 no. Blocks. Blocks go there. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Oh, almost uh, accidentally looked at an enderman. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the direction I'm going. I'm going to go up to here, throw another one. Yay! I'm not going to waste those. Even though this is, uh, this is so much better, I don't want to waste my emergency option until I have more of them. <laughs> but, ah, oh, I love that so much. That way still. Hey, look at that. It's another one of them guys. Handy. Handy. Because eventually when it comes time to leave this pl leave this place, uh, I am going to need a way out. Make those with three gunpowder. Oh, okay. That is good to know, actually. I haven't really ever played around with fireworks, rockets, and uh, that before. I never, I never get around to it in Minecraft. Well, I mean, in the main server, I put the most time into... I've got a magic broom I can fly around on. So that's kind of already a thing. But I think you're right. That sounds like it's correct. Let's see, what's my best bridge spot? I think... I'm going to go here and just zip straight across. That's a bit less of a gap. I might hit that midway depending on how it aligns, but yeah. <clears throat> Had a nice little bit of a snack, refilled my water. So I'm all good for a bit. Now had some nice tasty hummus and crackers. I know, exciting stuff. It was real good though. Greek olive hummus. So it had all kinds of chunks of olives, and I love friggin' olives. So that hummus is not living through the day, now that I've tasted it and know what it tastes like. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it's not really gonna give me a spot for, um, hooking up with those. What hummus and what cracker? Um, let me double check. I don't remember the brand of the cracker. I think they're Triscuits. And for the cracker, for the hummus itself, it is... Fontaine Sante Hum brand Greek olive hummus. Yeah, it was good. Real good. Like, uh, maybe my favorite one out of all the hummuses. Just because I like olives. Like, I really do enjoy the taste of olives. Like, I eat a, I'll eat a jar of olives. And then uh, swish the brine. <laughs> so, uh, I'm definitely buying that one again. I'm just going to straight bridge rather than angle bridge. It's going to be the path of least likely for shit to go bad. Feeling a little more confident. More gunpowder you add. Good to know. I, next time I find paper, I'll soup it up a bit because uh, I do have the gunpowder to spare. Not stairs because stairs make you explode. That's why I only grabbed a few of the stairs out of chests for funsies and not... I'm not really going to make my fireworks rockets for flying out of them. Because I did not want to explode. I knew at least that part. I've read it um, on the internet somewhere. And, I mean, I have an Elytra on the Andres SMP. Huh. Oh, yeah. So, I really should learn more about the Elytra. Alright, let's see. I think I'll go here and chuck one. I'm not seeing anything new, so here will give me a good idea of what I'm doing. The urge to just fly around is so strong, but I want to secure more fireworks rockets before I do that. And uh, juice them up a little bit, too. One butt powder. I, I One butt pow butt. 
<laughs> uh, that's the only thing it replaced but in just the one word. You could have just gone with butt powder and it would have been fine, butt spot. Still that way. All right, so I'll just uh, cross over to... This is going to be... Actually, I think taking the long way around might be the better call. It's going to be a long one. Otherwise. Yeah, um... I'll bridge across here just to save a little time. But I'm thinking here, here, Chuck and I. It might be real juvenile humor, but I like butt spot. But at the very least, butt spot helps remind me not to take myself or anything too seriously. Taking, using command block. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I haven't played around with command blocks too much. I know Pennell knows his way around them a bit better than I do. Uh, you can do some fun stuff with command blocks, that's for sure. Yeah, up here and then across is going to be the play. Oh, a thousand blocks. I feel like you're uh, getting into, whoops, crash the game territory when you start playing around with that. It took him a thousand blocks a buttkind. Could have been a thousand butts a second, butt spot. Somebody needs to train you. Comedic opportunity. Buttspot is on fire today, though. Not necessarily in terms of good content, but just the rate of it. Whoops. Sorry, nature. Wow, butt spot. Okay, chill. That's actually higher than how I have you set. It but takes a couple minutes to accelerate, yeah. Not your best work. I mean, you get some gems out of it, but not not your best work lately, butt spot. Wait, what is... Oh, no, that's just uh, cliffs and stuff. Thought I saw something interesting there for a minute. Takes a couple minutes to accelerate. Yeah, that, that makes more sense than what I was thinking. <laughs> Otherwise, you just immediately go to hyperspace and splat. I guess that is how they do some events, though. I've seen people doing a uh, elytra race where it's kind of like flying around collecting rings and going through all kinds of stuff like some air racing games can do. And I've wondered, how did they keep the elytra going for that long? Uh, it was part of a... I watched um, Dream's uh, thing, the last Minecraft champion thing that he did with uh, George and Sapnap and them. Which was very entertaining. I was not expecting it to be that entertaining for essentially an eSport. What does ButtBot do with all the extra butt if it doesn't butt in? Uh, we will never, we might never, oh, you said it twice. Okay, I thought ButtBot butted you there for a moment. And I'm like, we will never fall. We will never know because uh, ButtSpot will always butt in. Come on, do your thing. Maybe ButtSpot doesn't like you. I don't know why I did that. All right, big old middle land mass. I'm going to throw one, even though I know where it's going to go. I'm pretty sure I know where it's going to go. Yeah, that way. What? I didn't even look at you, buddy. Where did... Oh, yeah, kicked his butt. I also lost track of the eye. I think it, I think it's going this way though. Yeah. <laughs> Stole all the butts. Ah, that's where the phrase "hold on to your butt" come from. Rampant butt theft. Yeah, that's a nice short little bridge. I definitely have the slabs for it.
guys. If I'm going to have a day job again, I'm going to have to start getting used to going to bed before 1 a.m. Ugh. Unemployment has, uh, kind of done some bad things to my sleep schedule. Jesus, it's got a nice end city going on here. Still this way? Uh, I really want to get this on this stream, so I'm going to ignore the easy loot. Because that's still a bit of a time sink. And I have all the stuff. Sleep schedule is... <laughs> yeah, that is fair. I, when I have a job, I have to be strict with my sleep schedule on account of all the insomnia. So I'm gonna start working things back a little bit in anticipation. Because they've already sent me a background check email that I gotta do. So things are moving a little faster than I thought. My start date would potentially be the 14th. Draconic Evolution. I've heard of that one. I haven't, I don't think I've played it. Or I may have played on servers that have used some of that stuff before. I've done a lot of server stuff over the years. One time, I have never been able to find the mod. Yeah, my start date is Valentine's, which is kind of weird and specific. But at the same point, it's like, I'm not going to say no to any start date. It's 21 bucks an hour. My last job was 14. Like, come on. Like, that is... That is almost living wage in this city money. Ooh, yeah, that is nuts. Look at this. Nice, fresh one of these bad boys. A sleep schedule is like an exit strategy. <laughs> All right. Uh, return portal. Got myself a nice map of these as I go. Yep. Oh, it's turned a little, huh? That's promising. That's a big old expanse to bridge across. So I'm going to go here and then here. Yeah, that's looking like the best one. It's got to be close. It's got to be close. Now, I have enough insomnia that if I do not work at maintaining a sleep schedule, shit goes bad real fast. So, but, uh, of course... Unemployment gets me all lazy about that, and then I just spend a lot of time losing track of time while I'm gaming. Was that? No, that. I was going to say that wasn't all that it took to cross that. Another mine shaft. Alright, time to whip up. Where's. Ah, oh, there's my crafting cable. Time to whip up some more of this. Uh, yeah. I'll make a nice batch of 60. And I'll make another one of these. Yeah, there we go. Two stacks. Nom, 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 nom. All right. So I can probably kind of join into that. That's definitely going to be the safest crossing. Although safe definitely has a little more wiggle room on it. I really love that we found paper. I probably found paper in a previous chest and it didn't even register and I left it behind. Because I'm so used to ignoring paper in the chest in the overworld. Because, I mean, I can grow paper in the overworld. Obviously no cane here, though. Am I going to just miss it, or am I going to brush it? That is just enough to be a little inconvenient, huh? Alright, let's continue here. There we go. There's the other stack. This this is gonna be. I'm sure it's gonna be really cool when I find it. Yeah, close enough. Can I throw another one? It's going right that way. Obviously, it's not gonna be that building. 
Whoop. Every time I accidentally fly and basically belly flop onto the ground, it feels like I'm going through the floor. And for a split second, I'm like, oh, shit. Hey, another one of them. Oh, my alarm is going off. Got to kill that. That was a reminder for something else, I think. So, yeah, let's find this and uh, see if there's anything good in it. I'll definitely still... Every time I hear that noise, I think it's a phantom. And there are phantoms in the end. I found what looked like a pillager post. And it had phantoms spawning around it. And, of course, endermites. So, phantoms are available in the end. Here we go. Nice drink of water. Let's see what kind of treasures I can find here. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> Fireworks, sir. I'll take the gold. Actually, there's a lot of disc committed. What is committed? Soul siphon exploding. Rust stunning. Okay. I'm going to take all of them. Ah, good question on the favorite structure. So far, I think the favorite structure I've found in this mod have been the temples. The temples in the nether. Actually, I haven't seen what's in the temple in the nether yet because it kind of exploded it. But the temples in the nether, the temples in the end, you know, the re basically repurposed uh, end, uh, repurposed desert temples. But they're so cool. They, like, they add an extra layer. The trap is slightly different, so it threw a fresh surprise at me. Bonus damages. Okay. That's good to know. Why is What's that doing on a pickaxe? That is a weird spot to put that enchant. Boop, boop, boop. Getting all kinds of rich here. Was there anything else I wanted out of that? I'll take the nugs. Third time's the charm. Uh, yeah, nothing else that I really... Why don't I up my flint and steel? Because that one's almost cooked. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to take them. I'm not going to use them with this. I'm just going to take them because they'll look pretty at some point. Yeah, I hear you, Enderman. All right, let's uh, let's get myself back on track. Only detoured a little. Oh, it's still going that way. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna go up and at that direction because this is a lot of bridge bridging, and maybe I can bypass a lot of it. We misjudged that a little. I definitely need more elytra practice. I think. I mean, I know the basics of the elytra, but timing the, di figuring out the distance on my jumps before I take them, gonna take a little learning. Let's see, do I have any more? Nope, that's all my slabs. I'll make more in a bit if I need them. Probably will. Let's see, I'm going up to this one, and I'm gonna chuck an eye. End respawn anchor. Let me take a look. There's the regular respawn anchor. Uh, there's... Shh, there's anchors. <laughs> uh, not that I could tell. Um, uh, let's see if there's anything interesting with end in the name. End portal frame, which I can't make. And stone brick platform, that's kind of cool looking. I'm not seeing anything like that. And stone brick waystone. Abyss watcher, what's an... I can make that. Do I have... Do I have any flint on me? I know where I can get some. Yeah. I just go back to that... Uh, 
Ruined Portal, that had a bunch of flint in it. I think I have everything else all ready to make that. I think it's worth a little detour. Do I remember where roughly that was? I don't think that was it. Yeah, I don't know where that is. I'm going to take a little... Uh, which one was I looking at that had that? It was here. Oh, yeah, right at the bottom. Waystones. Yeah, I've, I've come across a couple of them at Villages as well and have lit them up. I can't remember quite where it was or I would use a fireworks rocket to beeline it. Uh, who? Some let you teleport, yeah. That is definitely what these ones do. So I think... Where? It, it's around here somewhere, right? Oh, it is that! Yeah, that is handy. Oh, that was overkill. I'm going to take all these Flint Boys then. I don't know if it'll uh, link up with the other end ones, with the ones in the outer world, but, I mean, placing a few of these around is not bad. I can leave waystones at stuff I want to raid later, actually. All right, so end waystone. I have all this. Easy. It's the Abyss Watcher that... Uh, Oh, I have so many pearls. I have so many pearls. <laughs> I'm just gonna make as many of these as I can. Oh, they don't stack very much. Good to know. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. All right. So that gives me, uh, yeah, not enough. Oh, yeah, I need to dig some stuff out of my mining pack. Okay. They require XP. Okay, I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. I've got a bit of XP right now. What was I about to... Oh, yeah. I, I need emeralds. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm an emeralds magnet. All right, yeah. Let's make this bad boy, shall we? Now, the next question is... They do stack! What am I missing here? <laughs> oh. That's some spooky noises. I have 11 of these bad boys. So I can afford to waste one on experimentation right now. Oh, so this is, and I don't know where Will Cure is. Uh, all right. Let's see. Is this in the overworld? What? Okay. Well, that's handy. Uh, I was in Zevik Edge before, right? I'm gonna rename this guy. Can I rename this guy? Yeah, I can. It's my spawn. Oh, that makes sense. Home. Save. So that's where I am right now, and this one was where I was. So I'll rename that on the other side. <laughs> oh, this is this is good right here, though. Oh, badly needed. I don't want to waste too much time on this, actually. Did I set up an ender chest in here before? I'm gonna... Now that I've got this in my back pocket, I can do some inventory management later. Actually, I don't even have an ender... I'm going to make a quick ender chest. Just because then that's all linked up on that end. Plus, I can sort of empty some of it out. Do I have on hand paper? Might or might not. Uh, this is my main chest. This is secondary. So I do have... No, that's not the right one. I don't have paper, interestingly enough. 
So there's still a real limitation unless I do a side quest that I'm not going to be doing until I'm off stream. I'm going to unload a few of these things, though. Leather! Ah, yeah, leather. Right, 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 right. Yes, I have. I'm on the same page as you are now. Yeah, I do have leather. And I know what I want to do with that. So, good eye. Uh, I think I wouldn't have clued in. Where was the leather? It wasn't in the thing, was it? No? I know I am just blanking on seeing it. Because uh, sometimes... Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, ADHD brain. Things sometimes kind of blend together. I got two double chests here. And, uh... Like, it can be right in front of me and I'm still like, ah. Oh? All right. Pouch. So this one. Oh, yeah, I need to make one of those. Okay, right, right. Yeah, let us whip this up. That's, yeah. Oh, I understand now. Okay, I wasn't 100% sure on what that was, but now we can make this ender pouch. Ah, okay. Nice. Sticking your hand inside the bag. Cool, cool. That is good to know. Oh, yeah, it's just a portable ender chest. Very nice. Very nice indeed, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a good get. What am I unloading here while I'm here? Uh, I don't think anything. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play inventory management sim for very long. I will, however, clear these guys out. That way, I have a little more room, and I can sort these later. All right, let's go back. So it was Ziva. Ah! Did it delete the thing? Are these one use only then? Because it kind of looks like it deleted the thing. Is this is this one use only? All right, I'm going to rename. Oh, no, home is still there. So I wonder what happened to the last one. Uh, nether portal in end. Uh, okay, I'll just label that like that. Maybe, I don't know, I'll, I'll figure it out next time I warp back, I guess. Maybe it wasn't enough terrain for it and wanted to make a platform. That's weird, but at the same point, I got waystones! I can stick one in the end stronghold when I get there. That is gonna be very, very handy. What was in this inventory slot before? Uh, oh yeah, knife. Oh yeah, let's... Let's go back to where I was. I was targeting for up here before I huck an eye. So I didn't even need to throw that one. Yeah. I wonder if it's just some sort of uh, end portal kind of rule. Like, like you know how it's got to be an obsidian platform when you come into the end through the end portal. I wonder if it's kind of like that where it needs an obsidian platform and it clears it. Or refreshes it. So maybe they are temporary on this side and permanent on the other side where they don't have that mechanic. I don't know. I'll play around with it later, see if I can learn a bit more of it to see if that's the case. It's all speculation right now. Firework rocket. What hand was that one in? Yeah, I think that was in my knife hand. How much time I got left to find this thing? Uh, it's uh, about an hour and 15 minutes of regular stream left. Surely I'll find it by then. Like, I gotta be close. Like, look at this path that we've taken. I don't know why it turned when it turned either. That's kind of weird if it's putting me back on this heading again. Right, I should zoom way in here. Here's a good spot to throw one. Yeah, this way. There was a little bit where it definitely turned, and it's kind of seeming like it didn't need to turn where it did. 
Not sure what is up with that. Non-purple and white stuff went back to... Yeah, very nice, actually. I appreciate that. And I got eight more of these sitting in my back pocket. That means I can do a little bit of much-needed off-stream inventory management. All the boring stuff that I don't want to do on-stream when I've got a goal to work towards. So next time I stream this, my inventory is going to be way cleaner. I will probably be a lot of levels higher because I can go back and do all my grinding the EXP off of that crap. Or I will have spent it on new stuff by then. Who knows? Wee. Found a jungle yet, probably. A oh, yeah, I've been through a couple jungles. I haven't found anything of interest in those jungles, but during my overworld travels, I have definitely been. I also do have some bamboo tucked in a chest back there. Because I know it grows like mad, and you can do some stuff with it. Jungle Fortress from the Reaper... Jungle Fortress... Okay, I am very interested in that. I would like to subscribe to that newsletter. That sounds cool. Ah, probably not anything useful, yeah. That's kind of that's how the jungle does. Whee! Oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, uh, that's about right. I did that to myself. It looked nice. Yeah, and I'm all, I'm all for stuff that looks nice, too. Like, it doesn't have to benefit me. I'm pretty well off at this stage of the game. Obviously, there's a lot of tiers of gear I can go up, but I'm not sitting here like, oh, my armor is crap. I can't take a hit. Like, I've got good armor. I guess those are not as uh, relevant anymore, those return portals, now that I have a better way. Now that I literally have... Even if each time it deletes it, I have... <laughs> eight trips back that's not bad whatsoever uh, yeah I'm gonna douse myself and heal up from that uh, yeah here we go whoop <laughs> didn't mean to do that there we go all nice and juiced up let's see I'm... oh this way now huh of course. Of course it would it would make me do that. Okay. Well, it's definitely a direction change. Here's hoping it means we're drawing close to this thing. In fact, I haven't looked at the map in a while. Uh, what's in my hand? Yeah, there we go. Are you serious? I'm still not on it. I'm in a different spot on the map. I've changed corners a few times. But I am still not on the map. All right, let me uh, let me make a bit of this. Don't know why I did it quite that way. I just want to stack. I don't want to fill my inventory with it. I'll do it like that. That that should that should get me across there. I think. Yeah, that's that's the uh, best route to go. It's taking me quite a, on quite a merry journey. Here I was last stream thinking i'll probably find it this stream and then didn't and there was this much left that's uh payoffs gotta be huge right and i don't mean huge and stuff i mean just a real cool looking structure with some cool stuff to explore and maybe a boss to fight You know, now, uh, I, I wish I had more paper. I didn't want to detour that much on stream because I want to find this thing this stream. I don't want to be like, will I ever find the end stronghold? And it'd be like a week later and I still haven't. The end end dragon. The end dragon's mom is my current working theory. As long as it's a dragon based boss and not a wither based boss. So I could stand to not have to deal with another wither. Maybe it's the dragon that I've beaten who's limped home to recover from his wounds, and it's his final form or something. Who knows? Her final form. Yeah, probably will be made, I imagine, a lot of obsidian involved. 
I mean, they'll probably be N Brick, maybe Purper involved as well, but I feel like, given what I've seen from the other structures, Obsidian's a safe bet. What I need to do is get uh, Nestor, uh, ex Nestorio, on here, because he's the fastest Obsidian miner. Get him to mine me a bunch of it. Other rooms, special. But the special butt is made of obsidian and crying obsidian. Ah, yeah, the special butt. No spoilers? Yeah. I'm going to try to keep as much of it on the down low as possible. Because, I'm. I mean, obviously, I know that much. But, uh, yeah. We'll see what we got. Butts why butt spot yes. <laughs> butt spot's been on it today. Yeah. I mean I'm assuming I'm gonna have to fill in a portal and I'll be interested to see where that goes. Maybe it'll be a big old treasure room though or something. I mean I'm looking forward to seeing what it is. Whew. That was a bit of a journey, huh? Well, let me just make sure I am still on the right path. Yep. Oh, no, my eye broke. I'm sure me being sarcastic about that every time it happens isn't going to get old anytime soon. I <laughs> have 45 eyes plus the ones in my backpack. Plus the unmade eyes, if you think about it. What? Ah, oh, just another one of those. I got excited there for a moment. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the eye broke. 45 eyes. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of them in the chests throughout this place. Unmade eyes. You know you know what I mean. Like, I've got ender pearls and I've got blaze rods. So those are eyes that have not been made. I guess unmade is not quite the right term because that implies a reverse. But, uh... You know, English language would be funny. Another one of these bad boys. Uh, does it? Let's see if the map shows me. Oh, okay. Not liking where this is going. Uh, wait, wait, back? Do I have to dig? Am I going to have to dig? No, there's no way, right? Like, where am I going to dig? I'll go, I'll go about middle and check another one. I mean, there's there can't be much <laughs> digging space. There's a big old void below it. But it does make sense on why I haven't seen it. Yeah, I'm about where I want to be. This way. All right. And this one, though, if you dig down, you don't really hit bedrock if you miss it. You hit oblivion if you miss it. Is it? Oh, OK. Let's throw on the chunk borders then. Still going that way. Look at the map. Look at the... M oh, the map! Oh my god, yes. I'm beginning to think this map might be garbage. Or maybe this map is for a different one, if there's more than one? Who knows? Maybe the eye and the map are fighting. Where did that one go? Did that go down? I completely lost track of that. Oh no, it's right over there. Okay, um... Yeah, give me a second. I think that went down, though. Just going to do a little double check Aroni here. Oh, no, it didn't go down. It went that way. Oh, fuck. Bad timing. Bad timing to be an F5. 
Yo, get back here. Get back here. I am not happy with you right now. That's what you get. That's what you get. All right. Where did that? Where did the pearl go? Do I already have it? Which way is it go? Okay, it's definitely going down. Wait, it sounds like it's over there. Well, I'm going to do the thing again. I'm going to tower up, chuck one, and I'm going to dig down wherever it winds up. Okay, yeah, I was going to, I just looked because it's like, is there a structure above me? But nope, it's just the void. Yeah, it went down. I want to pinpoint where it went down. Now, I don't remember the exact. Oh, okay, so that corner. Does that mean it's this chunk or that chunk? Ah, uh, boy. Well, I'll try this chunk and see what happens. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It'll squirt itself up in a moment. Ah, oh, yeah. It's got to be, like, right here, right? Yeah. Good call. Curved staircase. All right. Yeah, let's... I, I think it's got to be this corner Holy frig, my nose is so itchy for no reason. I'm sure I've misjudged the spacing of this a little bit. In fact, that's probably the corner. I'm hearing something. I'm hearing a few things, actually. Sounds like there's shulkers in it. All right, all right. It sounds close, actually. I mean, I know I haven't missed it above. But I can't tell. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. The old, obs yeah, obsidian, crying obsidian. I'm just going to get a bit of a lay of this thing. Before I dig down right into it. Because I want to have an idea of, is this big? This will be interesting. I mean, I was kind of hoping I'd get some sort of big dramatic space. Like, see this huge structure in the distance kind of thing. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, this is, this is still going to be cool, I'm sure. And I understand why they do it to keep in with the theme of having to dig down to the stronghold. Look at that. I wonder what I'm going to get for an achievement when I hop in that. Let me just rearrange my inventory a little. I don't think I'm going to be facing the void while I'm in there. Uh, chuck that. All right. I'm going to use some regular blocks for blocking. Oh, yeah. And before I do anything else, I'm going to heal up a little. Big building in the distance. If there is a portal, yeah. That, that I could see happening, actually. I was kind of wondering... All right, this is the entry stairway, isn't it? I, I see. So is this going? Yeah, that goes somewhere. Uh, yeah, okay. Whoa! Hello, fellas! Where are you going to make me float to, huh? I mean, I am eating some hits here. Like that in the rat mod. The the rat mod, okay. Uh, Ratlantis? I see a spawner. I also see the room. She's getting real loud in here and fighty. Alright. Yeah, I haven't played Ratlantis. Uh, jeez. I got a make these guys a little quieter uh yeah maybe like that uh, there we go that should be a little bit better they, they are loud in here 
there's still more coming in. I don't want to deal with these guys if I can avoid them. Because I assume they're just going to keep coming. <laughs> Phrasing. This is going to be cool to explore, though. I mean, I do want to see what the end room is all about. But that's definitely not my only goal here. Oh, yeah, I need, need to neutralize that as quickly as possible. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, you dicks. All right. Yeah, gotta take that out right now. Fuck! Again? I gotta pay more attention. Oh, whittle away. Oh, you! I can... Fuck! Fuck! Hey, hey, no. Bad. Alright, alright, I'm just gonna weather this storm a little bit. They're basically coming at me from one side. Oh shit, there's a lot of those guys, huh? Yeah, get wrecked! Get wrecked! Ah shit! Ah shit, I lost my little line of sight. Yeah, eat thorns! Yeah! Okay, then I can neutralize what I'm assuming is gonna be an Endermite spawner. Oh, yo, hey, hey, don't be a jerk. Yeah! And then I can neutralize however many of these guys want to throw themselves at me. Whew! Okay, that was a little frantic. Oh, alright. Let's uh, inventory it up. I mean, obviously I know where the room is now. So that's handy. I don't have an interest in immediately going through. I assume when once I go through, it's going to be a whole thing. And I want to kind of explore this place a little bit first before I get into that. What am I doing here? Uh, junk. Junk. Boy, I am doing okay. I'll put these away for now. Put those away for now. Uh, I'll toss that back in there. Why do I... <gasps> I won't need this anymore, stupid map. Look at this. Look at this. This is definitely for a different one. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm, I actually have... Well, I mean, I don't... I mean, I do have Prospector, but I also have four pieces of armor that call other emeralds to you as if by chance. And I feel like that's having a bit of an effect on things as well. So this map is garbage. I'm not going looking for a second one of these. That took so long. I am, however, gonna enjoy exploring this. Whoa! Oh, right. Yeah. Aquaman. But, to make sure I can find my way back, I'm gonna create a waypoint right on me. The room. Oh, hi, Mark. And I'm gonna slap down one of these bad boys. I mean, look at all this obsidian. Surely it won't rewrite it, right? I'm gonna put this a little way away, just in case. It'll probably rewrite those, if I had to guess. Who picked me? End Nether Portal Home. Hoop. Yeah, I'm renaming that. To End Stronghold. Bingo. Ha 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 ha. Ah, uh, free one, displayed waystones four. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This gives me a good operational setup here. I can explore this place. If I need to nip back home, I can easily do that. Uh, if I get in trouble, I've got somewhere to fall back to. If I die, I can come right here. Uh, let me see what all I'm going to find in this place. A lot of these dickheads. I wonder where your spawner is hiding. Okay. I might consider doing something about this soon. It's starting to get in rough shape. I know one of my boxes has a... Uh... Ah, carp. That's... That's a problem. Wait, wait. How are you flying? 
I guess I should clarify, how are you surviving that enough to fly? Because you guys have, like, no health. Alright, just don't get hit, don't get hit. Alright, yeah, yeah, you guys want to throw down? Oh yeah, there's a couple more in the area. Alright, she ain't too bad. <sighs> Alright, let's just top up a little. Ah, he swam up it. Right, because they, they these guys really do want to kill me. Yeah, like this. Notice all these rooms are a lot more like hole in the ground kind of rooms. Ah, shite. You got me. I like this. I love amethyst in this game. It's a cool friggin' stone. It makes cool sounds. It looks cool. Oh, I kind of get what this is. They're, they're like a reverse version of some of the... Frig. Come on. I hate having to use water to get down there like that. Alright, let's... Uh... Oh, it's an actual box. <laughs> Here I was trying to kill it. Here I was trying to kill it. Hey, hey, hey. Popping an iron apple. Gonna get in. Fuck. Can't just jump down, apparently. Yeah! Get critted on. And now I am here. Which means I can drift on over here. I switched weapons midway through and didn't realize it. That's you dead. That's... That's you dead? And I can't quite get at you yet. Okay. Well, I mean, I can, obviously. I can break glass. Yeah! Woo, okay, okay. There's one more, one more. Yeah? All you did was make it easier for me to get up here and kill you. Whew. Those guys definitely give me trouble. Now, I'm wondering where the spawner is for these little dickheads. How did you take that full hit? Alright, now I know I found a chest here somewhere. I was trying to kill it earlier. Oh, okay, 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 okay. What, what, oh my god. This is, uh, this is some serious business loot here. Where are you coming from? I hear you. I he friggin' hear you. Huh. Alright, let's bring out the goods. Let's, uh, yeah, let's loot this thing. Ooh, yeah, you are coming home with me. Toss that up there. Uh, what else? All these diamonds. I'm assuming I can do something with amethyst. Can I not? Oh, I can make an amethyst lamp. Why are you giving me so many amethyst shards? I'll take the lodestone. Don't know what I'll do with it. Yeah. Um, it's... You right-click it, right? Stone brick waystone involves... Oh, no, that's chiseled stone bricks. Okay, I can make a lodestone... But, um, doesn't seem to do anything other than what the lodestone normally does. I'll still take it back with me. I'll toss it in there for now. Uh, grab that. I know there's another chest in this room. But I wanted to tuck all that stuff away first. Uh, it was like up there. Yeah, there it is. Riptide, that's just a spyglass. Piercing prot. Right click amethyst to see what you can make with it. You just, oh, okay. Well, I was right clicking on it in the thing when I searched it, but. Uh... Wow, that is good spelling. So I've got the amethyst. Oh, yeah, there we go. I can make tinted glass. I can make spyglass. I can make block of amethyst. Okay. Uh, hello. 
Uh, void to... Okay. Um, that's the dagger I have, actually. Yeah, no, I, I figured out what you meant there now. Okay, yeah, some of these are stuff that I've... Ooh, I need to get me a bunch of crying obsidian by the looks of it. Oh my god. Some of these are very craftable, too. Look at that. Look at that. Void bow. Call of the void. Shadow crossbow. Oh, that is cool looking. Yeah. Yeah. Initiate one. Uh, shit. Yeah, we got ourselves a nice little jackpot here. Yeah, there's tons of crying obsidian. Might even uh, off... I'll, I'll see what happens when I go through, but I'll piss off. I know this is wasteful. Might even go make myself a better pickaxe for the purpose of gathering a bunch of this. Ah, and stone. Because this this will take a little while. But if I can at least enchant something up to be a little stronger. Or make something that's better than diamond, perhaps. I mean, I do have a lot of stuff. Cool looking spot, eh? Yeah. It's interesting. It feels in some cases like it's an upside down version of a regular one. Like, see how this room is laid out with the ladder being there like that? I mean, there's plenty of amethyst. I wasn't expecting the amethyst. But this does give me lots of amethyst to make a bunch of those cool things with. Uh, I've got all kinds of good enchantment books I've pulled out of it. I'm harvesting diamonds. Like, this, this is a little bit of a jackpot that I have hit. Making sure I'm not losing that this time. So, yeah, I know where I can go to harvest this. Don't go through, like, 20 blocks of purple. Now the purple just hurts. <laughs> I feel ya. All right, let's continue exploring this bad boy. Used to be able to jump up and catch those. All right, so uh, get out of the way. I should switch this back to this one if I'm going to be doing this. Wasteful. All right, so we are back into this room. This room is the, the way to the room. And I left a little marker there so I can easily come back. Notice there's no button on these. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> it is upside down. I know using you to fly would be the... Oh, shit. Where'd he go? I should have held. I know using him to fly up there would be the easy call. But... Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> I also do want this to be doable without me eating damage from these guys every time I want to go somewhere. Another one of these. There's a lot of amethyst in this place, actually. I wasn't... I mean, I figured, yeah, there's an amethyst room, but no, it's quite amethyst-centric. Where did that come from? Where the frig did that come from? Who dares? Alright. I will get you. Oh, there's two of them. Nope, I think that one's not one. Yeah, you can... You can make me levitate, but I made you not alive. Okay, where is that coming from? I'm going... Oh, hello! What? Did he... Ah, oh, there he is. Okay. 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 Wow, you have to be on, like, half a heart there. <laughs> I think I just heard one of them die. I can always make more iron apples. I have lots of apples. I have lots of iron. All right, let's... Yeah, get it. Okay, that's the other chest. So this is the same room. Where's the other guy? I'm trying... Ah, there he is, over in the other corner. That's him in the corner. That's him in the spotlight. 
Yeah, get wrecked. Woo! Trash talking these mobs that can't talk back. That's how you know. That's how you know I'm a serious gamer. Ow! Texture pack that turns shulker boxes green or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. I know there's another. Okay. Hey, what are you doing down? Yeah, I got him. <laughs> that killed him. He crit his pants. So I don't think they are alive. Yeah. I'm probably gonna keep making that mistake. Did I just? Okay, good. Good. Whew. That would have been bad. I'm hearing him. I'm here. I'm not seeing his shots though. So maybe he's in another room, and he's still just trying desperately to shoot me because they're jerks. Holy carp, my nose is so itchy. I'm gonna need to hit the old allergy medicine when I get done here today. Alright, he's here, you saw him? I'm not s- Alright. I hear him. Wherever he is, his shots are going nowhere. <sighs> well, if he can't hurt me, I might as well sort my- Oh, right. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, wait. That's my shulker box. <laughs> oh, my God. I just got excited over my own shulker box. Well, this ain't bad, though. I'll take you. I'll take another lodestone. Um... Oh, yeah. There he is. No, wait. Did I see the explosion? Could have sworn I did for a minute. Oh well. There's uh goodies here for days. Jesus. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put I'll put them in mine. Put that away. Uh, where did I put the other lodestone? Actually. Yeah. There's where I put the other. That's actually not a good spot for it, I don't think. Mm, maybe it is. Huh. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna mess around with inventory stuff later. I'll put it in there for now. Like, I have an easy way back to base so I can completely overhaul my inventory. I'm not t too worried right now. Alright, let's continue. Uh, actually, I don't care about the rest of that. Ooh, I'll take them diamonds. I'll take that. I'm getting loads. I'm getting a load of lodestones. Hey, was I gonna? I was gonna look up and see if they did anything too. I think that's all the stuff to put in there. Lodestone. Right click it, does nothing. If I click on here, it, yeah, I can't right click on lodestone and accomplish anything. There's a couple ways to make lodestones out of chiseled stone blocks, though, which is a good addition. That's uh, pretty important because I often find myself, I'm gonna be real smart here. Actually, is there something I can do with spyglass? Because this is giving me a lot of them. Crossbow with spyglass. So there is. I'm going to take one. Because I kind of want to see how that's going to play out. Oh yeah, I was emptying this one out so I can take it with me. Is this one starting to get full? Wait, another? Wait, where did... Oh, I have that one there. Oh yeah, I was putting them there. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, this is going pretty okay right now. There's still another chest over here though, isn't it? Up there, I think. No, I, that's the one I broke earlier. What ads? Two, four, twenty ads. Wait, is it actual? Is it actual ads for four twenty? Because that would be amazing. It's like you know, you know my odd, you know my me at least. Maybe not my audience, but you know me. All right. Well, I don't know where he went, but uh, the kind you don't get because 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I know none of us really like ads either, but they will help me hopefully eventually reach my goal of this be my job. Which would be fantastic because offices, even if it looks, even if they're good offices, can still be kind of soul sucking. Ah, oh, yeah, you can teleport all you want. You're still getting. Okay. I will. Oh, what? What? What is this? Also, where did he just. There's some good loot in these, huh? What is a bundle? Yeah, let me uh, let me see if I can do something with it. Suck them. Uh, Sex-based term. Suck them. <laughs> All right. What what is a bundle? Use a bundle. Right-click to add items. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you can put... Okay, uh, that's actually kind of cool. I did. Yeah, I, I did that myself. I saw it come up. What the heck? Okay, that's kind of cool. I don't know what the benefit would be, since it seems to close on one... Not sure what. Not sure. I'm gonna take it with me because it's interesting, but I'm not sure what the benefit is. How did I just move through that? Did you see that? I literally just walked through his two shots. Two unstackable items. Interesting. Interesting, actually. Alright. So. It does it have to be two of the same item? Well, you know what? I'm going to grab this. Alright. It uh, doesn't seem to want me to... Well, I'll figure out how it works later, I think. Because it... Uh... Well, it's it says it's from Minecraft, and obviously it's not from Minecraft. So I'm not sure what mod pack brings that one to what mod brings that one to the table. Fair enough. Yeah, my muscle memory is kind of shit for older versions of Minecraft. I've uh, well, I mean, I was out of Minecraft for a good while when 1.16.5 was the new hotness when I got back into Minecraft. So my muscle memory for the older stuff, it is from Minecraft. Like, really from Minecraft? Oh, these are the prisons. Ah. Let's get dead ends just like the real one. Interesting. That is uh, unexpected. That feels like a modded item. Yo, not quite what I wanted. I want to, yo, if I can get a little closer, I can make these guys chill right the fuck out. Ah, uh, they're, they're not going to give me that, though. Alright. Oh my god. Stop. 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 That made some of them calm down a little. Look at that. Look at that. They're not taking shots at me now. Why are you on the ceiling? <laughs> Alright, I can wait, I can wait, I can wait. Open up. 32 obsidian and 30... Okay. Oh, I understand now. Interesting. That's kind of cool, actually. Again, I'll play around with that a little later. Still got some shots coming in. Where are they hiding, huh? 
Not there. This is upside down. It's so weird. Nope. I... Ah, he got me anyway. Sneaky. Yeah. Um, oh, it actually looks like you kind of censored your link there. It just shows three stars. I thought you were just saying star, star, star. Yeah. A bundle holding five different mob drop types. Interesting. I'll play around with that later then. That sounds like it's worth my time. I won't play around with it right now because I don't think it's worth your folks' time. Hunter 5. Hunter 5. It's uh, Hunter 2. I'm definitely, I, I, like, I, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's the, it's only the number one all-time bash quote, and, uh, if you look at whose name is on that bash quote, and then look at what my Minecraft name is, uh, see if you, see if you can put a little bit of two and two together there. Oh, yeah, that doesn't go any higher. I used to live on IR MIRC back in the day. These guys are a little tougher, huh? This guy's got a uh, few hit points in him. Those are just jail cells. Yeah, you guys can get wrecked. Does this go up? Nope, it just goes down. I don't know if they... I, they, they must just be pre-filled with them. 100%. I have literally had the name Seathon98 in some form since 1998 when I registered my first Hotmail address. Played around with Lord Nuke for a while as a proper gaming tag, but uh, I, use them, I use them interchangeably nowadays. Like, all my email address. I still actually have that Hotmail account. Oh, boy. Yeah, you guys want to make my life hard. I'll make your lives non-existent. Yeah, okay. Your turn. Your turn. You. Ah, you can, you can float around... Sorry, I'm sure there's some stuff going on in chat right now. I am focusing on this. I'll look at it as soon as these dickheads are all dead. But yeah, it's the most... It's the thing I'm most famous for that I can't actually use to my benefit of any sort. Like, I can't make... Turn that popularity into... Into a Twitch viewers. I can't turn it into like monetized shirts or anything like that so it's like uh it's just a cool thing that i did once upon a time that got famous it wasn't that one wasn't even an irc quote that was in gunbound and i was talking to some guy well the guy by that name i didn't change the name or the password i mean i'm assuming he changed his password afterwards i didn't take any of his stuff either I guess I... I don't know how I feel about NFTs. But, uh... Yeah, I guess that would be a way to do it. I mean, it's my bash quote, right? I'm gonna eat this. Oh no, that's a god apple! I am not gonna eat that! I thought it was a regular Goldie. Where did they come from, huh? Where's the spawner? Oh, oh I should... I should be less dumb about this. Way less dumb about this. Okay, where are you guys coming from? Aha! Yeah, that's what you get. Yeah, I... It's, it's quite a bit of a kick, though, you know periodically just seeing my quote referenced in the wild. 
because, of course, people still make references to it like you just randomly did without even knowing. So sometimes I see someone at, who's actually famous use it, and I'm like, that was me! And then it still turns into turns into not actually anything beneficial other than, of course, the entertainment value of the whole thing, which is still pretty beneficial. Like, I'm not, not knocking on people enjoying a thing at all. It's just... Every now and then, I'm like, I wish that a thing I did on the internet was my ticket to not having to worry about money ever again. It's just one of those things, though. <laughs> this is this is cool. Even though I butted it wrong. This is where I came in, though, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. I'm here in Enderman now. Hey, buddy. Yeah, piss off. The hey! Hey! I didn't know they jumped. Huh. Learned something new. This is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Ah. Uh, slash four. Uh. Don't know what that is. I'm not doing this off of Forge, though, if that makes a difference. I'm using Multi-MC. Although, it might have been in the Forge section. I got a bunch of different mod packs on Multi-MC. These are Forge mods. Yeah, I figured that might be the case. Because it does have that whole forge section on it. It's got a few different sections on it. And it's like, oh, that's probably the original mod manager slash site that it came from. All right, all right. Well, was there anything in here that I wanted to explore? I think this is a, a dead end, actually. I know if I want end rods or any of these materials, I can easily come here to harvest them. Uh, that's an exit, and I... Don't actually want to go out that, because uh, that's the void. All right. When this way was nothing, which means it's back this way. The way I came in. There are lots of Endermen. All right. How much time you got for whatever is past the portal? I've got a half hour. So, uh, if it's doable within that rough time frame, I'm down for taking a swing at it. I mean, I know I can find my way back if I bite it. Uh, I'm assuming that it'll be similar to the dragon fight, and I know how to do the dragon fight. Alright. Well, I might as well go to... Where I was before, set up a uh, hmm, little turned around. Oh, I left myself a marker, the room. So that's that's actually real handy. Could probably do that. I'm going to check out the other way. I think I've been in here because there's... Is that just... I didn't place that. I think that's just outside. Hunter 2. <laughs> and then it's a bunch of stars. Classic. Okay, there's not one under there. Thought there might be. I very much appreciate the bits, as always. Oh, yeah. Let me... Frick, come on. Blah, blah. Well, obviously, I've been here. Uh, where have I... Oh, there it is. All right, yeah, I, I mean, I can easily, easily get back through afterwards. Yeah, I know, it, and it comes up randomly quite often. And uh, sometimes people are like, holy shit, you're the guy. And then sometimes people don't care. Way more than enough Eyes of Ender, yeah. Uh, probably, depending on what the actual fight is, I'll probably make use of that. Um, I have my end pouch. You know what I'm going to do is I am going to stick half of those right in there. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put, oh, hang on to that. I'll put that in there to dick around with later. 
Uh, yeah. Just because I have a feeling I'm going to be... Oh, okay, you can put your backpack in the, uh, in the ender chest, at least. That's handy. Now, that way, if I bite the dust, I can still get my shit together. I wonder if I could put the, uh... I probably could, and then I would lose access to it. That would be funny, though. Alright, all right, let's, uh... Let's see, I'm all full health. I'm gonna whip up some apples real quickly, though. Let's see, uh... Literally, the chest that I just put away has my apple material. The bag. Alright, let's grab some iron apples. Um, some iron bits. Blah, you know what I mean. And we'll take the apples out of my face. And I'll just make a nice few extra iron apples. I've also got an, a god apple in case of emergency. I've got some blocks for pillaring up, for towering up here. I'm going to pull a few more of those out. Uh, I want to I want to keep that for making stuff. So I'll toss that in there. Apples back in my face. Iron back in the thing. Uh, I'll send some of my eyes back. That way, I mean, I'm not going to need any more of them. All right, let's, uh, let's fill this bad boy in. This is going to be a very interesting, potentially whole new experience. So we're going to see exactly how this shit goes down. Yeah, that seems good. And I'll switch things up a little. Uh, I was kind of hoping I could put it like in my hand there. Nope. I'll switch things up a little if it looks like uh, flying is the better call. Yeah. Oh my god, it just takes me back here. Really? That's a little bit disappointing. Little anticlimactic. Um, if I go through here, am I gonna have another fight? I got a lot of loot. Yeah, I'm gonna go through here and see if it like respawns the dragon or something. Although it looks like it just shunts me back to. Uh... <laughs> oh well, that was in. I was kind of thinking there would be some kind of boss in there. I mean, I guess good to know. This obviously didn't despawn on me. And Stronghold did, however. And it, it made it a black spot. So, uh, let me see here. Yeah, it made it, it made it the same size. One, two. Uh, I should do this with torches. If the... There's a nether stronghold? Oh, okay. Well, that gives me a bit of a quest for another time. I'm definitely not going to be able to go down that road today. But that is interesting. Yeah. How wide is this? One, two, three. One, two. Okay, so three is the middle. Two, three. Yeah. So it seems to want a very specific space for itself. If I place it right there, will it delete? Okay. An underground bastion in overworld? Hello. That could be fun. Yeah, see, it deleted the other thing, actually. So the waystone is gone, I guess. wonder if that... This will be a good way to find out if that happens every time. Or just the uh, end stronghold. Now that I've set it up on a spot that it likes, hopefully, it won't uh, it won't do me dirty. Because it's given itself the space that it wants. All right, home. Uh, it seems to be a one use. That's a little bit annoying.
I'll, I'll leave it here as my way back here. Oh, wait, it's gone a layer deeper, too. What year was Hunter 2? A oh, long-ass time ago. Oh, shoot. Probably within the first year of Gunbound being a thing. That is annoying. It seems to just delete a whole area, which means this would eventually just peel itself down if I let it. What, what happens if I put it on a pedestal, though? Okay, in stone brick, I'm going to look this up a little bit to see if there's a way to make it not delete stuff. Somebody's blowing me up on uh, Discord. Uh, oh, it's that guy. Yeah, I'm not going to talk to that guy right now. Portion of an IRC. Yeah, Azure Diamond. That sounds about right, time frame wise. Uh, <laughs> actually, yeah, I mean, I, I put that to... Um, Bash, I learned about Bash and became a little upset with it, um, obsessed with it. Uh, sorry, actually, why do I have Google open right now? Obviously, you found what we're looking for. Uh, yeah, I don't really need to worry about that. So yeah, that said guy who broke my armor stand on Andre's SMP just called me a retard. For no, basically no reason. This spastic little kid is, uh... Yeah, um, I have lost all sympathy for this guy. Oh yeah, I was gonna look up the end thing before I got sidetracked by somebody using... By somebody using a slur they really should not be using. In general, it should not be being used as a hurtful term, in my opinion. I'm going to minimize that for now, though, because I am I can deal with that in about 15, 18 minutes. Uh, I was going to look up End Stone Brick Waystone. I was thinking about it. Um... I thought it would sound dumb as a brand, is the thing. Like, that was my whole... And then this way I tied this in with my uh, cosplay page. But then it's like, on Discord, I'm Lord Nuke. On uh, YouTube and Twitch, I'm This Is Me Gaming. And on, uh, on Minecraft, I'm Seatha98. So I'm floating three names for the one thing. Which uh, actually does kind of... Uh, not really play well for branding. Waystones. Uh, finding waystones. Crafting waystones. Warp stones. Warp scrolls. I don't know. I want to find a way to look it up. If there's like a specific block I can put under the waystone. That'll make it not delete everything. But for now I'll just slap that there and name it. So I have a way back. When I use this portal that's in the same room. Uh, bedrock. Really? I can't place bedrock. But does that legit make it not delete itself? Oh! I hit the wrong button. Oh, this one survived! Which one was it? Oh, this one! It survived! Okay! Is it um, a dimensional thing, maybe? All right. Uh, nope, that's not the one. So it's got to be Numa Gimme. Yeah. Okay, so... Ah, uh, okay, so to get in here, it deletes itself. Interesting. I'm guessing that's intentional then. So all I really want to do is rename this thing. Ah, interesting.
and uh, I can travel around elsewhere with this thing. End. Ah, int well, I mean, the end stone clearly isn't, but I know what you mean, yeah. Uh, end stronghold. I'll toss that there. I still have a lot of stronghold I can explore. So I'm going to pick up some flint next time I'm in the overworld so I can make more of these. Was expecting a boss fight. And a little disappointed that there wasn't one, but at the same point, like, ah, uh, would it have been a repeat of the dragon? All right, let's uh, let's explore this a little more for the remainder of the thing. All right. Different dimension, it lags, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, fair enough. That does make sense. I just wish there was some way to mitigate that in single player, so that way I could uh, use the same one over and over again. Hello, buddy. Ah, yeah. Where did he zip off to? Ha! Ha! There's an Enderman in jail. Oh yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I didn't know they could jump. That's so weird, right? Oh, hello hello hello. Yeah, that's what you get. Yeah, so I'm going to focus on just checking this place out for the rest of the stream. I don't really have enough time to go looking somewhere new. And I shouldn't let myself get distracted by my Discord. Oh, ah, crap. I, I gotta take care of this guy first. Oh, uh, just as I set my shield down. Fuck. Okay, you guys are you guys are bullying me. Alright, alright, alright. It's you then, it's you then. Yeah. I love the enchantments on this axe. You know these bo Minecraft Dungeons adds bosses. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for that then. Maybe see if I can figure out how to get me some adventure time with some bosses. I wouldn't mind trying out a few new bosses. I think I'll save the Kraken for last. Actually, I would be ideal against the Kraken because of me being a siren and being super good underwater. Alright, you have a good one, Pennell. It's always it's good to see you on here. We gotta figure out some time soon to build that spleef course. Boy, where's this week gone? I still don't know what I'm doing for this Saturday's thing. Alright, there we go. Open up. Yeah, you're uh, you're all dead now. First spawn, six spawn in structures. Don't know about the Void Master. The Void Master sounds like dying to him could be a real problem. Ugh! I thought I had this guy. Open up, open up, open up. Yeah! <laughs> How do these guys have so much health? Also, where are they coming from? Where's the spawner? Interesting. High regen and only takes damage from picks, so that's probably why there's so many uh, fighty enchantments on picks in this. What do we have here? More of the same water prot. <laughs> no, I understand why water protection is a thing, though, because one of the uh, one of the origins cannot handle water at all. One hit iron armor and is invincible unless you break all the redstone blocks in the structure where it spawns. Interesting.
Okay, well, those actually sound interesting, and it gives me something to do in this mod pack, because I'm kind of really interested in continuing to explore an adventure in this, because this is some cool stuff. So, having something like... Ha! <laughs> Respawn Anchor. I want to go explodey today. Well, I'm, I'm going to take it, but I need to stash some goods first. Before I do, also get out of my inventory chains. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Taking that respawn anchor. Fire prot three. Uh, yeah, there we go. There's no way. I'm, I'm going to have to experiment with fire prot, actually, to see if it would keep me alive. I feel like the answer is a solid no, but, uh, you know, it's hard to say with this sometimes. All right, I'm going to repurpose this guy because I don't know where I put my stuff away and I can play inventory management sim later. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's do that. You're coming with me. All right, all right, all right. I'm still hearing some dudes. It means there's unexplored areas or a spawner I've missed. Pick that garbage up again. Don't need any of this. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Where are you coming from, man? Armor's still okay. The boots... Oh, my God. How did I not notice that? I thought I killed... I'm actually not sure what happened there. Search back Pergamine. Okay. Let me get myself somewhere that I'm not going to get mugged by a little dude. So it gave me the Highland Axe uh, Pergamon. Let's, uh... The only thing it gives me is this Croptopia book. Don't know what's up with that. I'm assuming Croptopia doesn't actually have anything to do with it. Huh. It's in the Dungeons mod? Uh, interesting. Kind of wondering, though, if they used the most current version of the Dungeons mod in this mod pack or not. Returns to your death position. That would be handy. Uh, yeah. At Dungeons. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Gauntlet. Backstabber, Highland Axe, Sturdy Shulker. Interesting. Don't know if it does anything special. Ghostly Helmets. Not seeing anything on that. And uh, at Dungeons is a lot of stuff. It's actually where I got this sweet shield from. I was looking at the Vanguard shield as well. But I think this one... Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I looked at the saw blades. Upgrade core. Oh, I thought these were Pokemon badges. There's some cool stuff in here, though. Iron scale. Uh, 80 million different armors. <laughs> uh, <am> <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of interesting stuff in this. Uh, Totem of Undying. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so there's a Totem of Undying, but that's just how get. Oh, you can use it to make stuff. Okay. But it doesn't seem to be, unless it has a different name, it doesn't seem to be in there. Hmm. It's gotten a lot quieter in this place. It. It's called the Golden Bone. Oh my god. Uh, nope. 
There's some golden stuff, but there does not appear to be a golden bone. A pair of golden apple. That is that is indeed sad. Seriously, hey, I'm I'm doing something here. How that? How rude. Hey, Cole. Okay. Yep. This is the only one with hay, uh, unstable shoes as well. Coal. Charcoal, coal. There's the coal apple, the coal carrot, uh, block of coal. Nope. All the usual accounted for stuff is there. Nothing new. All right, I'm going in here. I think I got I got a few minutes left. I want to see more of this place. I mean, I spent long enough journeying to this place that I'm not ready to bail on it quite so quickly. Okay, yeah, I actually was trying to work out how I how I can get to you. So thank you. All right. Oh, feck the knockback on. My shield was up. Open up. Open up. I will smite you. Hey and Cole. All right. Uh. Come. Uh, this is this is kind of annoying. I I wonder if that's why they put all these crystals here. It wasn't so that people could use them. It was so that this wouldn't mess people up. Alright, that's two down. I know there's more in this room. We've got the map to found dungeons. It's the bosses will help find their weakness. You need to summon Traveler, specifically invoke him, placing it. Okay, interesting. A... I wonder if that's hay on a coal block? Coal on a hay block? Because hay coal... Doesn't sound like a thing. I'll look into it, though. Oh, I needed a little more. There we go. There's the regen. Okay. I'm hearing... I'm gonna go down there. Oh, there he is. Okay, don't know quite what just happened there, but I <laughs> done goofed. Come on. Alright, fuck. Ah, shite. Ah, yeah. There we go. When I get down there, I'm gonna mess this guy up. Interesting, okay. Where'd he go? All right, let's uh, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Oh no! Oh no! I was dumb. Ha ha ha! Yeah. Still hearing the shots, but uh, can't believe the lengths that this thing is. Void Master isn't in this. Yeah. The lengths that this thing will go to to get me. Like, swimming, jumping, like a surprisingly fighty little devil, huh? I just heard a shulker die. What, did it have a heart defect? Are there no chests in this room? Oh, yeah, there are. Oh, my God. Look at the books. This is insane. I mean, I'm not. Don't get me wrong. I am not complaining. I am very happy with this. I'm just saying, it's like, what? I mean, this place is definitely OP enough to be worth all the effort it took me to get here. Just the loot. I'm taking all the amethyst I can. We're going to toss all that there. Put all these enchanted books there. Whatever I don't use to enchant my stuff, I'm just going to grind the EXP off of it. Uh, let me take a look. MC Dungeons. 
Okay, so it's not straight up the Dungeons mod. It is some things from Minecraft Dungeons. That might be why. So it's the Dungeons Armors and the uh, adding awesome dungeon, adding weapons and tools from Minecraft Dungeons. I think we just solved a bit of a mystery there. Okay, no new boss thing. What is Apple? Oh, food related HUD improvement. Never mind. I was going to see. Uh, mm, I was going to see if that Apple thing was something else. Croptopia. I don't know what. Predefined enchantments to tools, extra origins. Yeah, I know some of this stuff. I haven't seen any differences in cutting trees other than that the leaves break down. Ah, the link doesn't seem to show up for me there. I get. Uh, if you're on the Discord, I'll drop a Discord link and uh, feel free to hit me up there. I'm Lord Nuke on the Discord. Apple skin, starting food, so is how much saturation. Oh, yeah, that explains that. I have been enjoying the benefit of that quite a bit. It's very nice and convenient. Uh, yeah, lots of different stuff here. Some of these are obviously support code for stuff. Uh, the base game is part of the mod pack. Oh, mob catcher. Okay. You know what? I'm going to take a little look here before I find somebody to raid. Oh, nice. Yeah, Yellow makes some really good content. Uh, he, uh, great videos. Great, uh, good streams, too. Like, uh, I, I like Yellow Wool stuff. Uh, yeah, so I do have Hostile Mob Catcher, Passive Mob Catcher. So that one's with Diamonds. That one's with Netherite, so ho that makes sense. Huh. That's cool. And easy to make, too. Like, really easy to make. Nice. All right, well, I'm going to grab this before I forget to take it with me next stream or when I do some inventory management later on. I'm going to call the stream here. Um, between the interview earlier and this, I'm definitely giving my voice a workout today. So let's find somebody to raid, shall we? Let's see who is on Twitch. Uh, let's see. If there's anybody I know on here first. A lot of people doing... Ah, I bet they're playing it together, actually, seeing who it is. I was like, there's a lot of people playing Phasmophobia right now. And I see it's Wilbur Soot and S Major and Jack Manifold. And I'm like, oh, I bet they're playing together. Uh, well, I like rolling Minecraft into Minecraft when possible. Phil's is on. Phil's is a good go-to. Uh, I'd like to do smaller channels, though. Let's see what you look like. Uh, you're on a hardcore ach hardcore achievement hunting. Day 12. Let's pray. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I will raid you. I'm going to throw a bit of a follow-on. So I'm going to be raiding Rendog TV. They seem interesting. Next stream will, of course, be Friday, usual time. I either am going to stream Andre's SMP, which I really want to show off what I've done, or I'll stream more Soul of Origins. Maybe I'll do a little both. Show off my base in Andre's SMP and then go to Soul of Origins because I really want to keep going with this. But I also do really want to show off what i got going on in Andre's SMP. So tough call for me, but uh, yeah, let's let's get this guy all nice and ready to raid. Yeah, here we go. Slash raid Ren Dog TV, and I'll catch you folks next time. Uh, thanks for tuning in. As soon as it actually creates the raid. And there, oh, there we go. All right, let's go.